first half of the first thing we say is missing. So it's I'm going to cut off my joke. It's yeah. just going to cut off your joke like it did a couple weeks ago. So I'm just going to... Okay, we're probably good now. Oh, we're live. No, I, yeah, I see us up on the stream. Hey, okay, that uh, means we're good. Yeah. Uh, what I was saying to you earlier, there's just no way I'm going to let this hedgehog ruin my week. No? He is, it's gonna, he's going to be good this week. The game's going to be great. I'm just feeling really positive about this whole thing. Well, good, because we are we are starting right off with immediately Sonic 06. We're not playing anything with, you know, psychological horror in it like we did uh, last well, week. Well... Okay, you well, say we're not playing any kind of psychological <laughs> horror, and then you're firing up the game Sonic the Hedgehog: <laughs> colon, Press Start Button 2006. I think I think I've just been beaten down so much that I just don't. I don't. Uh, oh, that was Emily laughing in the other room. I just don't know what to do. You know. So you know, you, you, yeah, your feelings are all gone. My feelings are gone. They've been killed by a hedgehog. <laughs> We finished Silver Sonic uh, Shadow story last. I can't keep these fucking yeah, hedgehogs we straight. We actually did finish. Uh, we finished. Um, we flew tonight around for British food night. Okay, cool. British food night. That's intriguing. What is British food night? So excited. So we have. Uh, so we're seven percent into silver. Fish pie, English beer, and curry. Okay, I can get into that. Sounds tasty. I'm in. I'm in. All right. Oh, oh, God, sorry. I just smelled my wine. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm so sorry to hear oh, that. No. I was like, I'm going to take a sniff, and then I'm going to be excited to drink it. Just a little sniffle. But the opposite one. The opposite one happened. The opposite. The where I'm, not, I'm no longer excited. Pat, where is he? First, I need to gather information. Oh, great. God. I never, if I never hear the name Ibl Iblis Trigger again. Yeah, I'm not ready to play fucking Detective Pikachu with Silver here. That's not what I thought was going to happen in this game. Um, I don't know. We've got some Pokemon talk coming up on this stream. We, we do have some Pokemon talk. I figure you've seen the trailer too, yeah? I have seen the still image advertisements. I know the names of the new Pokemon games. I've seen images of the new starters, but I have not watched any trailers. Okay. Yet. Fair enough. But we you can still we can still weigh in on we can weigh in on the new starters. You can tell I just me. want to wait for a few more people to get here. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, it is Pokemon Day. It is Pokemon Day. I'm glad we're streaming on Pokemon Day. I am one of here. our most sacred holidays. Ooh. Now all right. This feels, I don't know, just sort of dissonant. Okay, I guess we got him pretty good. We got this guy. We're from the future, you xenophobic asshole. Where am I from? Clearly I'm a hedgehog, just like everyone else. I just love that everyone in this game speaks with their hands like an Italian stereotype, oh, especially the old men. It's so bad, and I love it so much. It's like they... <laughs> they tried to make up for the fact that they weren't doing realistic emotes by saying, what if we just did more? Like, what if each emote was just a lot more? I feel like these people just aren't expressive enough. I'm gonna need them to really, really talk with their hands. Eric? Yes. So, I, I don't know if you're... Are you an Oscars fan or, or not so much? And not like the, the Oscars. The Oscars of... Uh, the, the Academy. Those people. The Academy, yeah. I know they did it bad or maybe good, depending on how you read the news, but, like, overwhelmingly, I read that they did a bad job with whatever it is that they do. Well, they did a bad with the best picture. I heard that they did a very bad with the with the best picture, and it was more like most, most like, racially not cool picture. Yeah, but they're... So... There's one story I need to tell you. Okay. Which is the so the screen the screenwriter who wrote Green Book mm -hmm. is an Italian gentleman. That movie was a very Italian gentleman movie. Sure. Um. Now his he has another movie coming out. Okay. The movie is called That's Amore. No. No, I yep. think they did that already. Yep, no. I, I, yep, and it's about a woman named Patty Amore who runs a pizza parlor. No, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. No, it isn't. Because no, that there are laws about movies where you sometimes you you get to the end, you get to the end of the script, 
and you uh-huh. hand it to like the movie cops, and you know this because you yep. worked in in the biz. I was a movie cop, yes. You worked in the biz, and you hand it to the movie cops, and they look at your movie, and they say, no, this is bad. You can't make that. And that's why everything that comes out of Hollywood is great. So I don't think that's going to get made. I don't think it's possible. But he he is now an Oscar-winning screenwriter. Oscar-winning screenwriter. I can't wait to see the ads for that. In a world with pizza. (laughs) One woman... Hi, welcome to That's Amore! Is selling the pizza! Oh, I just can't believe her name is Patty Amore and they're just letting this exist in the world. It's a bad Bojack joke, right? It is! That's literally... Like... There's nothing... Yeah, like a big pizza pie! Like in my store, Patty Amore's Pizza Amore Emporium. Which I can so only to, to assume in, called. To fill in, Melissa, what we did last week, um, we did somehow survive uh, the bad, bad Eggman. Oh. Yeah, we we didn't get I, eaten by Eggman and his his wormy ways. But am I? Uh, is my internet connection okay? I, I glitched you're good. You're me. good so okay. far. We didn't. Oh wait, hang on. Okay. You're good. I'm not having a problem with you. I got no problem so, yeah, with you. We 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 survived the the uh, the man made of eggs, um, and then we played this thing, and we beat Shadow Story. Yes. And we heard another good song. Um, that's about all I remember. Like I think I was I blacked out like most of last week. Yeah. No, that sounds right. Yeah. No, we are Do doing we another a motorcycle license. We're we're doing another motorcycle license. We're we're training. We're doing like solely on a cop training. I think. Yeah. I do like that this. Yeah, Silver's playthrough of Superman sixty four is mm-hmm. exactly right. That's that's what this is. I was talking to my buddy Christian about Superman sixty four over the weekend. Oh boy! And it's more and more he's convincing me that we need to play that game. Woof a do, uh, Eric. Uh, it, I will absolutely play it with you, but it, that game is a lot. It's a lot. Oh, it's wine and wine time. Hey, Reaperson. Good seeing hey. you this week, past weekend. I Oh, I discovered a game we have to play. Ooh, okay. The title is so generic, I have to now go look it up to remember what it's called. Wait, because really? Because it, it the title fell out of my brain like 90 times. It's just like... It's going to be like uh, Dungeon Goer or, you know, Puzzle Do or something, right? Um, all right, hold on. I, I think play, I've almost got it. I feel like I had the Game Boy version of Puzzle Do in the 90s. <laughs> oh, it was on this list. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Shadows over the dungeon. <laughs> no, it's it's uh, worse than that. Dracula's Reckoning. <laughs> Dracula's Wedding. I would play a video game adaptation of the Outcast song Dracula's Wedding. I don't know what it would be, but I would play it. Oh, why? Why is it? Where? Where is it? <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to be like making up. No, you're good. I'm just gonna make this horrible noise as I fly through these rigs. So you do okay, whatever. Okay, here it is. You. I found it. I found it. Okay. Okay. It is called Cornerstone: colon, The Song of Tyrim. Now. That's the worst game name I've heard since Prism colon The Dark Unicorn colon Part 1. Is that a real game? Yes, P-R-I-Z-M, I believe. Perfect. Can you, like, light dash through this or speed dash? Or is this... You're actually doing what you're supposed to be doing through that whole bit. Well, I'm cheesing it a little bit with this get X repeatedly maneuver that I learned last week. But, uh, yes, this is what we're supposed to be doing. Silver's not fast. He doesn't do what Hedgehog's yeah. is. He doesn't fast. <laughs> so, so I don't, yeah. So what is Cornerstone colon keyed to the dangle right. dungeon? What is it called? Uh, it is called, I need to look it up again, I forgot. Um, <laughs> it is <laughs> Hey. Qu- cornerstone colon the song of Tyrim. Cornerstone not Skyrim, but Tyrim. Legal. Cornerstone colon legally not Skyrim. 
<laughs> right. So, if I could just... Here, let me pitch this game to you. Oh, we got an S. We got an S for how good we are at being a cop. Don't smoke weed around Silver. He's a fucking cop. Did we decide Silver was a cop? We just passed our cop training. That was cop training? Yeah, we just... I should be paying more attention to the game. We just became cops. Oh, shit. Another reason this game is garbage. It's the sound of the police. Whoop, Um, whoop, indeed. Hedgehog top speed is 12 miles per hour. Well, that's clear. We weren't even doing that. It's, if it, okay, I know that's wrong because it's not measured in fasts per hour. Yeah, I think Sanic Ball did prove to us that hedgehogs are measured in fasts per hour. Oh, oh, it's Alberto Robert. God, I wish okay, it was. Can we take the police system down from hey. within, or are we just like narcs forever now? No, I think we're just kind of narcs forever. Right. Okay. As fast as you go in Sonic Boom, yeah, probably about that fast. So All right, so let me picture. What's the picture you on the Dark here. Descent or whatever about? <laughs> okay, have you ever played uh, uh, Legend of Zelda: Wind Waker? Yes. Okay. Now imagine exactly Legend of Zelda: Wind Waker, except what if only programmed by two people? Now hang on. <laughs> yes. But okay, was this and game? I'm not- <laughs> Commercially released? Yeah, it was a Kickstarter that met its goal. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh no. Can I, like, can I. How do I. Where do I get this game? I don't know. Okay. I watched a playthrough of it and was like, yes, please. Okay. This is broken and bad. So we're gonna play this broken ass garbage game from Kickstarter. I, if Koji Kondo is one of the two people, then it's a real game and we're gonna play it for real. But if no. Koji Kondo is not one of the two people, then we're gonna play it on this show. But, like, you start on a starting island and you have to get a boat, which is definitely not the boat from Wind Waker. Not the boat from Wind Waker. Then you go to other islands to unlock the Triforce pieces. I mean, the other things from. I mean, not Wind Waker. <laughs> Still. On the Kickstarter, the Kickstarter was, uh, apparently it was it was sold as Wind Waker meets Dark Souls. Oh no! Oh no, yep. it's one of the, the popular game meets Dark Souls genre. Yep, and I watched I watched a speedrun of it, I could not see a single Dark Soul, but, Did... uh, apparently it's, it's been there somewhere. So there's, there's a Dark Soul in it. Hey, Io, there's how's it going? There's a Dark Soul somewhere in this game. Hey! Io, saw Io over the weekend. She gave me some, uh, some, some Final Fantasy sleeves and a Final Fantasy playmat. That's super cool! Yeah, it was really nice. This was in Cleveland? Yes. I'm not trying to judo chop this old lady. Okay. Some that was the best secret! <laughs> that was the definitely the best Pro Tour slash Mythic Championship I've ever seen. Oh, that was, it was incredible. We were doing this wrong. You can tell already that we're doing it wrong. I mean, I feel like we've talked about a kid to penises before on this stream. Like, correct yeah, me if I'm I think wrong. Several times. But I think the, if I don't think this is the first time we've talked about the 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 hybrid hydrodome of the echidna. Um. So do hedgehogs have have two or just knuckles? Just, I think, just knuckles. I think hedgehogs have like, like, like a like a hedgehog with a penis would have like a penis, you know, kind of like what you might expect. Duck penises are weird. They got that corkscrew penis, which is terrifying. So, as a person who is not sexually interested in in the penis, mm-hmm. is upside or downside? Asking chat. <laughs> So you mean like the four the the, the hydro four headed dog like that one? Yes. Uh huh. <laughs> That's the one. It's my favorite neutral milk hotel song. Ah. Which uh, I'm supposed to press one of my buttons here? It's not this one. It's this one. Lots of animals have corkscrew penises. Pig penises aren't corkscrews. God damn it. I knew about the ducks. I didn't know about the pigs. Well, you know what you can do with the corkscrew, Chaz? Uh, open a bottle of wine. You can open a bad bottle of wine. Or a good oh, bottle, boy. I guess. Uh, I, I have absolutely opened my bottle. Same here. 
Uh, I have not had a drink yet. Same here now, also. Do you, do you want to go first, or should I? Oops. Uh, why don't you go first while I navigate this very easy jumping puzzle? No! <laughs> oh no, this is so bad. Um, I can't believe we're... We're like most of the way into the game, and the puzzle is how do I get to the center of Lake? And the answer is die twice? Well, I'm just so impatient. I was like, I got to the place, and I'm like, all right, let's go to the next one. And I forget I have to recharge Silver's fucking go juice by standing there. Yep. So, what is your wine? Tell us about your right. wine. So, this is the most expensive wine I've had on this show so far. Okay. Uh, I was only able to afford it because I bought the $4 bottle, la the $3.97 bottle last week. I saw Triple Dog there in, the, in the, the total wine today, by the way, and it was indeed no dollars. Yep. <laughs> so, this week I am drinking Walking Dead TM registered trademark branded wine from the TV hit classic show that everybody loves, The Walking Dead. Um, this particular Walking Dead is called the Blood Red Blend from 2015. Oh, boy. Uh, so, yeah, it's Walking Dead wine, and it has an app that comes with it that makes, I guess, zombies come to ho house? What? So, yeah, wait, your wine has an interactive phone experience? Yes. So, it says, watch, the, the label says, watch the dead rise by downloading our augmented reality app. Okay. So I have I have downloaded this app. I pointed at the bottle that said, "Do you want to download this like 290 megabyte file to your phone?" And I said, "Fuck, I guess." So. <laughs> I guess. So I did that, but I haven't done anything else yet. I was waiting for the stream, so I'm going to do it now. <coughs> I'm going to scan the label. Sweet. Ocean Horn Monster of the Sea for the Wii. There's so there's two of this game. Okay. Ocean Horn Monster. How did you get? Like, yes, Diana, this is this is the one we made fun of it for mental. <laughs> can you get games like that on the Wii anymore? The Wii Shop, I guess you can on the Wii U. The Wii Shop itself is over, right? There's no it more is Wii. over. There's no more Wii Shop. The Wii Shop channel, no more do 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 That's all over. So I'm, I'm pressing the scan label button and the matrix thing is sort of coming up on my phone that's blinking and winking and not scanning anything. Okay, I think you might have... Like a like a phone virus. Yeah, I think maybe the wine the wine gave me a, a virus. Maybe this is how the zombies get in. You know that movie about like the, the smiley killer who is has like the emoji head. I think maybe that's what you have, but on your phone. I don't know about that movie. I, there was a Doctor Who episode where emojis were the future killed everybody. Now, hang on. Normally, when somebody says there was a Doctor Who episode where my brain just turns off, but this time you got me. Do you not like Doctor Who? Doctor no, I just haven't seen very much Doctor Who, and some people are like, okay. oh, you seen the Doctor Who episode where? And I'm like, no, I haven't. It's fine. I just, I haven't seen it. And like, Doctor Who is cool. I just have so much shit going on. It's such a big commitment. Oh shit! The, the, the zombie thing is happening! Okay, so the zombie apocalypse is happening on your phone. Oh, oh, yep. holy shit! Zephlar! Zephlar! Oh, there's there's a bad 3D sheriff and he's fighting a bottle- uh, he's fighting a zombie and like, it looks like the bottle has turned into a TV screen. Wait, what? And there's a zombies in the TV? In my bottle now. The, the zombies sheriff are... just killed a zombie. You could probably hear it. Yeah, I can hear it. Bad 3D sheriff. Alright, so you have a bad 3D sheriff. <laughs> What's a 2D sheriff? What's a 2D sheriff? <laughs> I guess... <laughs> I guess what I mean is... What I mean by 3D sheriff is he is moving... He's moving in multi-dimensions inside the bottle of he's, wine. He's in the wine. I'm sure he's a very famous character from the television program Walking Dead that I bailed on in, like, 2010. I think his name is Rick, if I remember from the four episodes of The Walking Dead I've seen. I think he um, he has a horse. Are you sure it's not mm. He has a horse. Well, if I were to try to understand that, I would need a lot more of, like, a 200-point IQ to understand Sheriff Morty. So what's, what's the wine, like... How is this going to impact, like, the taste of your wine to have, like, zombie parts in it? Well, yeah, th that's the thing, is now I know that, now I know a zombie was killed to make the wine, which makes me both like it more and less. Does that mean, do zombies have sulfites in them? 
Because that seems oh, to be a, a big question. deal for one. I think it depends how many farts the zombie had in him when he died. Oh, uh, yeah, I remember we talked about that. So the sort of yeah. the fart question. No, I'm sorry, I can't- I cannot go back to the soul fight <laughs> without, um, without thinking of farts for whatever reason. That's just sort of what it- It's just how it goes! I totally understand. Yeah. Use the fruit that's all around you to call the turtle. Okay? I don't know what that means. just had the turtle. Yeah, but I got off to do checkpoint stuff. Get him back? I think I just did. Alternatively, I didn't. There he is. Nope, he's sleeping down at the bottom of the sea. Hey, sleepy boy. <coughs> I don't know how to do what you want done, sleepy man. Oh, that's not uh, it. That I try. It. Should, I, should I do the wine? Yeah, do your wine. Tell us about your wine game. Okay. So the nose. The nose on him. Uh-huh. Persona 5 and 1, nice. <laughs> Coral. Uh, what if a pepper was left out in the sun, Eric? You just left some pepper out in the sun. Like a, like a, like a hatch green chili? No, like a, like a pepper shaker. Oh! That's, what would happen? Uh, you get this nose on this here bottle of wine. Oh boy, so it's like, just pepper but bad. Just like sunny pepper, like a sunny day pepper experience. Oh, a sunny day, a sunny day real estate. Yeah. No! It's okay, we really haven't thus far. Alright, now the taste. Yeah, bring taste us, bring us the taste of your zombie wine. Some exotic peppers in this chat. I don't know, Silver. Is it? Is it for breaking walls? You know, this one's pretty good. Oh, it's it's not bad at all. It's it's actually. I was expecting it to be like a really punchy wine because it smelled kind of punchy, and uh -huh. The Walking Dead is this very edgy, edgelord, punchy kind of show, right? Right. Right. Yeah. The wine and and like the bottles, like an epidemic of apocalyptic proportions swept the globe, enslaving the. The dead to rise and feed on the living. In a matter of months, society has crumbled. There is no government, no grocery stores, blah, 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 blah. Then the where do you buy the wine? Of, the wine is kind of subtle. Huh. If there's no grocery stores, how do, where do you buy the wine? Yeah, no, um, this is the many flog we've been on. It's big, it's heavy, it's wood, and it's very confusing to Silver the Hedgehog. So the wine tastes kind of light. See, my mind is saying bees, but that's not anything. That's not... That's not a thing. If a wine a tasted like, like bees, you wouldn't know that. You, specifically, would not know that. Yeah. Oh god, oh god, landing on this log is horrible, y'all. Okay, I gotta charge it more? Alright. You gotta charge up your log. Charge log! Beep, beep, beep. So it's not bad. It's like a good wine, or like a like it's, a decent wine, even. Yeah, I would. I, I mean, this wine was like thirteen or fourteen dollars, so I'm probably not going to buy it again. Right, but of like, course. It tastes, I think, better than any of the ones we've had so far. Believe it or That's not. That's great. I also I mean, we haven't had a lot of great ones. But yeah. I don't hate it. Oh, we're invincible. We are invincible. Why are we going so slow then? Ugh. That's not what invincible means, Chaz. Yeah, this wine is way better than 379. But is it five times as good? It's at least three times as good. Well, it's not bad then. Yeah. <laughs> All hail silver. God, I hope that's the song at the end. Speaking of songs, Eric. Uh huh. We have to talk. We have to talk about the elephant in the room. Okay. Does the chat know that Sonic 06, the Sonic, the game Sonic the Hedgehog 2006 was in the news this week? It was in the news! Yup. Wish I could go up. <coughs> Wish so for people who didn't see, the game Sonic the Hedgehog 2006 was in the news because the horrible 
an alt-right dictator of Brazil who just won his election and is now turning Brazil into a dystopian hellscape, uh, yep. released a bad video on YouTube uh, talking about how bad the social component was. And the music he decided to put in the background of the video was the menu music from Sonic 2006. Well, I guess he really wanted his people to know that his opponent was just as bad as this game. But, like, he's using it as hype music. It is unbelievable. Yeah, I don't... I don't understand how we got here. I really just this do is, not. It's the weasel, Eric. I'm telling you, this is weasel universe. This is... You know, the more you say that, the more I believe you. I think it is weasel universe. We're in the Weasley universe. The dictator of Brazil is using Sonic the Hedgehog 2006 to undermine his opponents. Unreal. In the year 2019. I don't even know if this was a meme or just an unfortunate accident or, like, he just, like, was looking through music or, like, one of his staffers was looking through music and was like, this is a, this song's a jam. This is a fucking banger, right? I don't know. Like, I don't know what caused it. Hit or the maybe, ball. Maybe, maybe, maybe his platform is about hedgehog human cohabitation. I hope it was a troll on his PR team. That would be amazing. That would be nice. Yeah. Okay, so what did I accomplish here? Uh, four? You gotta yell four, it doesn't count. Oh, I did hit the ball very hard and is gone now. Yep. Wait, no. It, it's rolling, it's going, it's returned, and it's rolling away. It has rolled into the ocean. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I, I think the theory that's more likely is he 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 has some like horrible alt right trolls from 4chan working for him because he's on their team. Oh yeah. And one of the, one of them is a meme lord of some kind. And Greg Norman. Oh! Are we supposed to be doing this? Like it seems like we are, but there's well, no. Well, the result. game literally said, I, if I can hit that ball with this log. Okay. Like, the game told me expressly to do this, and now I just have no idea, no earthly idea why. I guess I could go over there and look? Um, well, the ball's back, so... Right, but... Are you supposed to smash these blocks, maybe? Or, like, let's try and figure out where the gold... Like, we have to hole in one something? Like... Well, it's not this. Maybe there's... Is there a thing maybe we have to uncover underneath where the ball was? Oh, well then why would the ball come back? Sonic 06, right, okay. Yeah, no, I don't know if this is... And you might get trapped, like, clipping into the ball if you try. I'm just trying to figure out what the fuck to do. Yeah, well, okay, but there is another, um... There's another turtle on the other side. I might go see him. Her, okay. it, turtle, turtle friend. Squirting turtle man. Yeah, don't hit Squirtle with the ball. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna slap this one more time. John McEnroe! That's a golf yeah, man. I know, I, I think we all like turtles in this year. I love chat. turtles. We're all big fans of turtles. Turtles are great. Is John McEnroe a golf man or a tennis man? Tennis. Oh, well. Uh I stand by it. Oh, did did you summon the did you summon the turtle by hitting the ball? I guess. Oh, he's the yelling tennis man. Okay. That's different from all the other tennis men. Okay, no, this turtle brings me over here. Okay. Indicating that we want to be back over here now. Sure. Did it so kill? that turtle was it for the kill? The turtle's like riding the subway one stop. Was it for kill? <laughs> Maybe it was to do a kill. Maybe I'm supposed to go the other way. Oh, you might have accidentally sequence broke somehow. I think. Oh no, no, it doesn't. Doesn't seem like it. Hang on. Neo Turf Masters. Water. Water is so deadly in this game. Like lakes will kill you. Lakes have probably killed us more than any single enemy. Enemies are just like fucking whatever most of the time. Yeah. It's these. It's bodies of water. And shit like that. Okay, this is not it. Um, all right, I'm gonna try my wine. Maybe my wine will inspire me. So let me show yeah, you I all. Think, I think that's the only way to do it. Let me show you all what I what I bought this week. Um, I did buy five bottles of wine this week. I bought one good bottle of wine, just you know, for me to like. And then I bought four bottles of just shit. 
Uh, and this is what I've decided to drink tonight. I think it's the edgiest bottle of wine we've had on the show. It's called The Banisher by 19 Crimes, and it's very edgy. I almost bought this one too, actually, because of all the crimes. It's got a lot of crimes, which I really appreciate, and also it's um, it's just a very edgy, stupid-looking bottle. Just like yeah, uh, Cat Dad, we've definitely drank this one before in Wilmington. It is actually like a decent price point, I think. Like, yeah, you might not like. It's Our... super fucking edgy. This is this is this is three edgy five me. All right, let's check out these crimes. I'm gonna smell yeah, how my many crime. crimes? Do you think you could tell me what all 19 crimes are? Three counts of libel. Okay. Five counts are, of treason. Are we, are we about to- we're about to dive into the Michael Cohen hearings, which I, I definitely spent yeah, the morning I think, watching. I think my wine is the Michael Cohen hearing. I think it might be. On the bottom of each cork is a different crime that was actually committed. What? Oh shit! Oh my god, I was very... still in the kitchen. Cat Dad, I was super fucking drunk when we learned that, because I don't remember it. Oh, this is delicious. Yeah. It is? This is, a, like, I mean, for the price for, point, this is a great yeah. wine. I think... Did we find good wine this week? Oh, no! Our brand! Yeah, we found good wine! Our brand is ruined! <laughs> we, we, okay, we, we need a new brand. Um, um, um... Gorillas. Gorillas. Is that a thing? We're gonna do. Is gorillas a thing? Is that a word? I'm just spitballing words. We can't monkey. do. Monkey. Well, we can't do monkey crime, Chaz. I don't think that's good. Be Grimes, drink crimes. Um. Well, I would be Grimes except for the dating Elon Musk part, which I am not okay with. I would have to. I would have to dump it pretty fast. I'm so sad that that just like Grimes is Grimes right now because. Man, is my I was I happy with the the line B Grimes d do crimes. <laughs> I liked it so much, and then I was like, wait, no Grimes, never mind. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what, there's some robots down there. Maybe you can maybe kill these down. boys. Oh, chop! Hey, get you in the knee. Okay. B gay do crimes is also a philosophy I am, that while I am unable to espouse. The, the first part of, I support. I cannot can I, work on I, it. I cannot be gay, but I can do crimes. <laughs> now, are these robots just guarding this stupid one-up? Is, yes. is that the idea? Yes, okay. they are. That is all this cool. is. And now we're in a place that we can't... How do we... How do we get out? Well, see, the one-up one was already out. Oh, boy. No, I'm sure there's another fucking donkey log here that we can do. Right. Oh, who, who's this? Hello! Hi! How's it going? What are this you robot? doing? Oh, he hurt me. Yeah, none of these robots have been good guys. Well, he's just kind of being cool down there, so I'm just going to let him do his... Well, what if I have to kill him? What if this is the key? Uh, what if this... Yeah, maybe that's been the problem all this whole time. Is what if him. What if this breaks it wide open, Chaz? The thing is, Eric, I I remember playing through this much of Silver Story with you back in uh, Massachusetts. Uh huh. And we were stuck at this exact point for a very long time. No. That is accurate. Out whatever the dumb answer was. Every... And I still don't remember. Everything you're saying is true and real. Yeah. Give me these rings. I need them. Now, is there anything else to jump to? Am I being tricked? Uh, oh, boy. Oh, I hate this. Oh. Ooh, hello there. Hi, Silver. Yeah, Silver we got from deep underground. From, yes, please. It's got that, that Google search for hedgehog feet. Don't even bother. We got you. I don't know why I we think do. If you, if, if you Google search for hedgehog feet, I think you are either in, like, Sonic Team calls you up right away and gives you a job, but also I think the, you're on an FBI list now. Does, does, does Sonic Team work from a non-extradition country? Because I feel like they have to. At this point, they definitely do. <laughs> or you're a writer. Yeah, oh boy. I mean, especially if you're you're some sort of AO3 writer. <laughs> um, 
Uh, okay, look up, look up. No, no. Get rid of the ball. I figured it out. Uh huh. Uh, get rid of the ball. Go on. Go up there. Go up there. Up nope. To the top. Turn right. Turn right. Turn right. Oh, oh you're there. On the turn right. Yeah. Go up there. How do I do that? Just fly. Just no. Fly like the wind. That doesn't. Those. Those can't be. Those aren't. You can't. Are you sure? Yes. Let me I show you how much I, ups I have relative to this ball. That's how much yep. ups I have. Can we switch character to some sort of Michael Jordan? You want to be Michael Jordan Chaos in the Windy City at this problem. Yes. I sympathize. But we can't. Why not? I haven't had enough to drink for that to make any sense yet. Okay. We're getting That's there. That's fair. We'll, we'll get there. Okay, maybe... Okay. Uh, on a scale of 99 to 100, how excited are you for Space Jam 2, by the way? Coming extreme, this summer. Extremely? Oh no, this didn't work. Or like, at least filming now. Yeah, no, they're they're in they're they're in production, right? They're doing I I stuff. Yeah. Up. I wish I could go up, Eric. Look, look at that spring. You see that spring up there? Eric, I wish I were a little bit taller. I wish I were a baller, is all I'm saying about this game. This level in Sonic 06. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I weren't silver. I wish I were a, a little bit... Nope. Faster? See, nothing wrong. Hey, what rhymes with silver? Does anyone know? Does anything rhyme with silver? I think it's the orange of colors. Orange of colors and metals. Oh, God, frame rate. Oh, God. Yeah, we do need to talk about the new Pokemon starters. Is now is now the time? Oh, goodness. <laughs> wish I wasn't Sonic. I wish I didn't do that. <laughs> That's <Literally>. very good. <laughs> oh, I'm super into that. Um, okay, yeah, Pokemon starters. That water friend is so adorable. Yeah. <laughs> so my ini my initial reaction to the Pokemon starters was sort of grumpy because I didn't like the names because they were all really silly. They are silly um, names. But then, the more I saw of them, the more they all kind of grew on me. Yeah. The water starter is definitely the cutest, I think. A hundred percent, both in, like, look and in just general attitude. It's just yeah. like, oh, this guy shoots water and then hides. Yeah, he's just a sad, sad friend. He's just a sad little Eeyore Pokemon. That's very much my, my aesthetic. Um... I feel like you should not be allowed to call something Grookey. Grookey is not a good anything. No. It's not a good name. Okay. And the bunny... The bunny, like, let's see what you turn into, bunny. Yeah, I need to know what that bunny becomes, because I'm not hyped yet. Grookey does feel like a slur. Yeah, that's exactly what I was getting at. Oh, it's I'm super. Not sure I'm okay with it does. It. Oh, you did it! No! We were so close. I almost totally cheated. Oh, the ball is for killing this robot. That's it? Now wait, does the robot have a thing we need? No. Like a key? Like maybe there's a key down there? That no. <laughs> no, but maybe we, now we can stand on there and something good. What happened? Oh. Yeah, Grookey, I don't... Oh, I don't like saying it. What's your favorite uh, starter ever? Ever? Okay. Because you know I like Rowlet. I do. Yeah, Sobble. Sobble is a heck yeah. of a name. Sobble is better than Grookey. Wait, this isn't the way. No, but it could be the way that works, as opposed to the way that was intended. And right now, I'm super, uh, I'm super into that. Eric, I feel like I should be playing fastball backwards because this isn't the way. <laughs> I bet that song, if you play it backwards, is just a. It, what would that song be about backwards? Like what kind of uh, people, simple subliminal people just message? coming back? They don't die and they're happy. Oh. Well, that sounds great. 
Yeah, Melissa, my Twitter feed was full of memes today, which was just like, if if Sobble is your favorite, you definitely have depression. Yep, and I was like, yep, yep, it's me. Hello. <laughs> Uh. My favorite starter is definitely Eevee, who definitely counts as a starter now, thanks to Pokemon Let's Go. Oh, right, we were talking about this. Um, yeah. Hmm. It's either Squirtle. Yep. Because Squirtle. And, and because Blastoise is awesome. Or, or Rowlet. A Greavy. Jeez. Yeah. Everybody agrees that Eevee's the best one. Can you launch yourself into another game? Like, is that <laughs> off the That's log? That's mostly what oh, I'm no! trying to do. Oh no! I'm going off the log! Oh, now I'm in Super Mario World. <laughs> Let's fight Bowser. Charmander is a really solid call. Yeah, Charmandier is a great, great call. Yep, and Squirtle was also my first starter in my first game. So those are both good calls as well. Eevee. Unfortunately, Eevee is an option, so clearly it's Eevee. Oh, uh, uh, hang on. What's up here? How do I get Ooh, up here? Uh, could you be a little bit taller? <laughs> Try. Could you be a bomber? That's all I'm saying. That one, probably not. No, not so much. I'm probably not going to end up with rims on my Impala. Like, none of this stuff is going to happen to me. Okay. There's a Link to the Past plus Super Metroid randomizer. Is it... Wait, what? Yeah, that's a real thing. That's real. Wait. wait. This is not a drill or a joke. That's a real so, like, thing. You, like, so you're, you're, like, going from, like, the fucking, like, Swamp Temple... And then now you're suddenly in Super Metroid? Like, yeah, basically. Okay. That's cool. That does seem really sweet. I kind of want to play that on my own time. It sounds really fun. I, I really enjoy, like... I, I have found, like, watching people streaming Link to the Past randomizers on Twitch has been, like, a very soothing thing. Link to the Past randomizer is a really cool thing. No! Okay, so the game is facing me this way. Okay, let's try it. Alright. Now, Eric, do you think the difficulty of this puzzle level is intended? Or do you think they just forgot to program anything? That one! That one! Yeah, that's I think they bugged up. Io, do you still stream? I definitely put in on your stream. If you do, let me know. Uh, put your put your Twitch link in the chat. I can subscribe. I bet if you click on her name, it takes me there. It takes you there. No! That would make sense. But yeah, it has it has been a while since I've seen the IO stream announcement. Fair enough. Well, if you ever do, I will uh, hopefully get a notification. And I would tune in for sure if I were at home. All their screams sound the same. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. What is what is grabbing an edge? What is anything, Josh? What is anything in this fucking game? I'm surprised that you actually are allowed to use a, a PlayStation controller. I felt like they should they should have bundled their own controller for this called the Sonic controller. Oh, which God. Which is, like, shaped like a Chaos Emerald and only has one button, and you should have to control the game with that. And the instructions are just all the, the, all the buttons just do Chaos Control. Yeah. That's what it feels like this game has, is Chaos Controls. Yeah. Doing these fully motion controls, oh my God, I'm actually playing this game on a fucking Wii remote, Eric. Oh, my God. Or on the PlayStation Move. Oh. I know the Wii is a beloved console, but I just... The Wii mode is literally my least favorite controller in video game history. I cannot with it. It's no GameCube controller, that's for sure. I, no. Honestly, I I am not an Xbox person, have never owned an Xbox, don't really like the Xbox. Like, I love Nintendo and PlayStation. 
But the Xbox One Pro controller is like the best controller I've ever. It's owned. a really good controller. It's so good. Just like respect where respect is due on that one. Okay, I'm up here now. Okay. Have we been here before? I feel like yes. I don't know anymore. I feel like we need to get higher. Like, gotta go high. Higher gotta get high. And high. Oh, we gotta get high. Should I? Should should I follow that advice? You wanna get yeah. high? I mean, that's. I could. I could. That's up to you, Fred. I am living. I am living in the state of Colorado. <laughs> the state of legality. Yeah. I mean, it is still a, a federal crime, but it is also a pixel crime. But it's a fake crime. It's a fake crime it's now, fake though. Crime. It's a fake yeah. crime because nobody cares. I feel like just by being me, I have committed some federal crimes. Right? That's how I feel about self, also. Oh, wait a sec. Yeah. Wait a sec. I think I got what? something. Did you? I remembered something! What did you remember? This flower will get us. <laughs> To take us to play. Ring. But again, I owe you oh. a fake crime for you too. After enough time using the N64 steering wheel setup, oh or like, boy. what is this N64 steering wheel even for? I know the Wii steering wheel. Yeah, I, I have the those. They're wheel. terrible. I believe there was probably one for, like, uh, Gran Turismo or something. I, would, I don't think it was necessary. Definitely yet, not Gran Turismo on the Nintendo 64th power. Now, what is <laughs> this? What is, where, what am I doing up here? This all, tall altar to the gods. Oh! Oh, I'm supposed to go other way. Other way, yeah. Okay. Uh oh No, we're good. Sorry to kill the suspense. I, I, would, I think. I mean, we can always try and see what we can play with the Donkey Kongas. I do have those. I'm sure. I'm sure we can at least beat a game with the Donkey Kongas. Yeah, I could beat a game with the Donkey Kongas. Specifically, I could beat Donkey Konga or <laughs> or the Donkey Kong uh, Jungle Beat action game that is a side scroller controlled with the Donkey Kongas on purpose. Which That's pretty cool. It's just a terrible game idea. Okay. I mean, I like the idea of giving the Donkey Kong a second game. We tried to play... I tried to play uh, Silent Hill on a DDR pad once. How did that go? Well, uh, in Silent Hill, pretty early yep. on, you get a gun. Yep. Sure. And the button for shooting gun... Is R1. Yep. I don't know if you've seen a DDR pad recently. Not since about 2005. Well, if you see one, let me know if you can find the R1 button and the L1 button on it. Are they, are they not? They're super not. Yeah. Uh, what did you miss, Emma? Well, uh, we've been trying to beat this puzzle for nine years, and we finally did it, so you picked a good time to you missed 50 uh, minutes of this fucking level, Emma. Um, we talked about the dictator of Brazil. Uh, we talked about our wines. We talked about Kid Wind Waker Dicks. remakes. Yep. Oh, speaking of Wind Waker, Waker remakes, I played years ago, 10, 10 or more years ago, on the Nintendo DS or 3DS. Um, I guess DS then. Uh, a Wind Waker sequel where in order to... Bye, Cat Dad. Have fun. Bye. British have food a good night. British dinner. In order to, like, navigate the ocean, you had to blow onto the Nintendo DS microphone. No! To make Eric, wind. no! To make Eric, wind. Eric, I hate that more than anything. Like, anything. It was like, real bad. In my list of things that I hate, that is, like really high up now. It was just, the game was like, alright, now blow into the microphone. Oh, well, you sorry? Blow. You just gotta fucking blow. Just oh, blow no. on your your DS. No, I don't want to blow my DS. Just get some spittle all over that bottom screen. Now I, well, now I definitely don't want to play your DS. <laughs> well, that's the thing. You never will. 
I think Ugh. it was breathalyzing <laughs> me, which was not good. Just blow yeah, your DS. Like, Just blow after it. done blowing your DS, suddenly your car insurance price goes up, oh. and you don't know why. Hang on, what happened here? <laughs> Wait, it's blaze. So, this is the past. <coughs> I hope Silver's Silver is okay. okay. He's, he's pretty, pretty insecure, insecure when he's alone. Is this Fire Festival? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think we're going to Fire <laughs> Festival. It looks like it. Blue, Strip in gang. <laughs> Get ready for the best time on Pablo Escobar's private island. Woo! <laughs> It's me, Billy McWhatever, and I'm here with my new credit card scam, Magnes. I mean, credit card. Hi, I'm Billy Fire. Welcome to my party. I'm not even here. Give me your money. It's me and Job ja Rule here on a jet ski, spending your money that you haven't given <laughs> us yet. Phantom Hourglass, which had the room where you put had to impress something onto your map by putting the DS into sleep mode with the map. Oh my god, uh, I forgot about that. This is the longest loading screen in a while. Oh, we forgot to drink. I forgot to drink the loading screen. Can it be true? Oh my god, this is the fifth time we've done Ocean Wave or whatever this level is. I swear to yep. God. This At is... least Blaze is going fast. Yeah, Blaze unlike is fucking very Silver. Fast. Oh, when I read that article about the bad president of Brazil, mm -hmm. that's by the way how I learned what the plot of Sonic 06 is because I did not know before that. All right, so okay, all right, smart guy. Well, you just earned yourself a one-way ticket to Synopsis Town. What's the plot of this game? So apparently, like Iblis. And, uh, what's his name? The Big Bad Dark sh Shadow? Uh, Mephilus the Dark, please. Yeah. So Me Mephilus the Dark and Iblis are, like, the two different parts of the Sun God of Soliana, and you need to, like, put them together to make the Sun God come back. Isn't that the plot of, like, 80 games? Uh, yes, but it's also the plot of this game. Isn't that the plot of Golden Sun for the Game Boy Advance? I've not played it, but I will I will go on a limb and say absolutely it is. <laughs> I could also be wrong. It's been a long time since I played Golden Sun, a great game. So today I learned, everybody, this is the plot of this terrible game that we're playing. Oh, look, I did this oh, wow. thing! That oh, was yeah. some really... That's, that's great. Yeah, look at look at this these moves! It does sound like the plot of National Treasure 4. <coughs> if you put, yeah, if you put, like, JFK and Lincoln together or something, then oh, you get George no. Washington. And you get the Patriots. Yeah. The New England, but not the Metal Gear ones. The whale is back?! The whale is back! Eric, why is the whale back?! Yeah, Golden Sun 1, great. Golden Sun 2, great. Golden Sun Dark Dawn, mm, do not. Do not play. Not a game for humans. Ignore robots, acquire end of level. I don't think I killed a single thing. And you don't have to whale either. You mm -hmm. just have to see the whale. And the whale's like, oh no. She's like, why is the whale here now? And then you just move on. It's not even a game for babies because it's not fun. <laughs> There's nothing. Yeah, a game for babies is like Peekaboo. Peekaboo is badass. Yeah, yeah, let's Great go Peekaboo. Game. The thing about Peekaboo is, like, you don't know where that person is because you don't have object permanence yet. And when they come back, they're like, what? This is great! Yeah, they're gone. Yeah. Can't wow. We got an S for not killing anybody. We got an S on a real level. Eric, is this is it time to bring back Don't Kill Robots? I mean, if it, if it was, it's already happened. Yeah. All right, let's see if I can uh, beat the next level without killing robots. <laughs> Next time Bla when Blaze comes back, because I know Silver is incapable of that. Yeah, Silver is, Silver's a lot. Yeah, that was my, uh, so that's my pacifist run of Undertale, everybody. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, and I'll be back next week playing Undertale, a game I don't like. Um... I feel like the there's a there, there there's definitely a, a an SAT question that Eric is to Undertale as Emma is to Elvis Costello. Wow! In that 
Though both things that both people should very much like, but very much don't. Yeah. Wait, what's happening? Ah, uh, wait, what? What? Why does she slap him in the face? Amy, Amy, you're a lot. Hey, where'd he go? Like and subscribe. You must have run off. I'm sorry. Amy's like, I'm kind of intrigued now. Yeah. I'm very into hedgehogs, but I only knew one until sure now. She's super into hedgehogs that aren't sure interested in her. Well, then yeah. Like, what? Two heads are better than one when looking for someone. And four heads go on an echidna's penis. <laughs> Two hedgehogs better than one hog. <laughs> Silver. That's a nice name. Oh, God. <laughs> It's nice to meet you. Ah! Hey, wait! Oh my god. I mean, one hedgehog's <laughs> good as another in the dark, right? I, th I guess? I don't I don't think I've ever thought that with my brain. <laughs> I mean, I haven't either until just now. <laughs> so, now that we're going to be running around Soliana for a while, do you want to talk yeah. about... The Michael Cohen hearing? Because holy oh, shit. Oh boy. Oh holy boy. shit. So I only watched up until the first break because it was a lot, but whoo boy. Awesome. I watched some stuff after the first break. I watched for a bit and then I had to got distracted by work. But well, holy everything shit. I saw was like the, okay. so like every other person because like they, they alternate between the parties and yeah. like, who gets to talk is like all right, time for Senator Racism McWhite guy from the South to talk. And then he's just like, well, I'm so offended. I'll tell you what. And, uh... Now, how many oh how many lies, cheats, and steals have you been convicted of? Because I, a fantastic American Congress citizen, have been convicted of many fewer, but not zero. So I'm interested to hear how you got away with the ones... I mean, which ones you did. Now, here's the thing, sir. I heard you said Donald Trump hates black people, but he don't hate black people. And I know he don't hate black people because I found the one black person who's willing to stand by my side and sort of look real sad while I say that she doesn't think Donald Trump's a racist. No, what well, do you say about that, sir? No, well, she, he never says he hated anybody, but he did say, like, Michael, I do not hate non-whites. And then I knew what he meant. Because he said he did not, and therefore that meant that he did. And no, that, I don't believe you. That was the entire hearing. Right? <laughs> yep. And then the Democrats would come, and they would be—they would talk to somebody. They would be talking to someone, but it was never Michael Cohen, right? It was never actually the person in front of them. They kind of just wanted to get their points across, and their points were like okay, but could have been better. Yeah. And, and sometimes they were just like, hey, do you know if Donald Trump is on drugs? And he'd be like, I'm so, so maybe. I, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I, I, he, he, I don't know. He, he'd say things like, I don't know that, that Donald Trump is on drugs. Right. And then but they'd I be do like, know Donald Trump, and he would do anything if he thought he could win. Yeah. Do you think? Do you, do you, do you have any knowledge that Donald Trump has had, had any medical procedures performed? For women not in his family, I'm not saying abortions, but definitely abortions. Can you comment on that, Michael Cohen? Uh, I couldn't say. I'm not a doctor. I don't know what is or is not an abortion. But I know that if Donald Trump wanted a child to not be born, he would do anything in his power for it to not happen. It was wild. It was so it was, it was, it was, it was pretty great TV. It was, remember back in, like, when we were a kid and there was, like... Oh, everyone's like, C-SPAN, that's the boring channel for nerds. Yeah, now it's just like, the fucking hot take channel. Yep. Ow, what hit me even? The thing that gets me is how Republicans in Congress are essentially like, no, no more, no better or more articulate or more well-spoken than just a random internet troll. Right. Yeah, no, if you forget these people are running our country, then yeah, oh, it's pretty yeah. If I you, mean, yeah, I, I don't mean to be flippant about it. I just sort of have to be because otherwise I will just cry all day long. Right, and we're not even, like, we're cisgender heterosexual white men. We're not even, like, we can't, it's not even close to, to, to as terrible for us as it is for literally anyone else. 
So, like... I don't know. I don't know how... Everyone who is doing, like... You know, more about this than we are is just a fucking badass. I don't know. I, I was right. It was better than the Kavanaugh hearing. The, Ka the Kavanaugh hearing messed me up for weeks. The Kavanaugh hearing was horrifying. Because I, I, I knew... I knew during that hearing that he was... Of course he was going to get, get in. Yeah. Like... That, that I think... I, I, the 2016 election destroyed me for like a month, but oh. the Kavanaugh hearing, I think, was second in it terms of It was very like, similar in terms of the amount like, of time that the, yeah. in, during which my, my brain was deleted. I mean, my, my relationship to all of this is like, I, I have to sort of like turn, turn off my feelings to it oh, yeah. to a certain degree. Because if I actually sort of let it in, um, it's too much. You won't be a functional member of society if you do that. So, but, but every once in a while, I can't anymore. And right. I let it in, and then it's just like, it's just a week of 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 feeling it all. Just fury, yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. if that's why weed is legal in some states, then. Uh... Then, then I'm expecting a new unban wave after this hearing, I guess, is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the problem is that weed has a paranoia element to it, and the Trump era also has a paranoia element to it. Oh, yeah, big time. AOC, yeah, AOC is the first person I've ever felt actually represents me in government, in the history of government. <laughs> oh, sorry. Woof. I am just a, a sleepy travel boy. Yeah, you've been uh, you've been on the road. You've been a real road warrior. I've been a, a real Delta airline. A real beyond Thunderdome. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm. I. This is going to be my third weekend in a row in a different state than my home state. Um, and then next weekend there's another tournament, but I, I get to drive to that, so that's fun. Is that? KC or Chicago? No, it's in Columbia, Missouri. It's just regionals. Whoa, okay. All right. So that's going to be fine. It's that's, just, that's what, like an hour and a half, two hours? It's, yeah, it's very close. So I'm carpooling out with some St. Louis peoples. Nice. For the tournament and then the, the judge conference the next day. <coughs> Let me drink some that, more I mean, that, that won't be bad. Oh, it'll be great. It's going to be fantastic. I'm very excited. Mm, I said Sonic presence here. Oh, it's just silver. Oh, I hate this so much. What am I doing? <laughs> Wait. So the phrase women's intuition is a lot, but translating it as girlish intuition is really fun. It's just even better worse. <laughs> Oh boy, this, this game. So oh no, he's having this moment. You mean the desert? Everything, Everything is so great here, here isn't, isn't it? it? The, the sky, sky is gorgeous and everyone's happy. happy. Oh, no. It's the desert! Huh? You are in the desert. Silver the Hedgehog, I Let's know go. you are from the burned out husk of the for? future, <laughs> but you are in the desert, my dude! <laughs> this is I nothing! This. He's already been to the jungle, which was far nicer, and now he's like, whoa, the desert. You want to place women's with girlish everywhere? Yes, <laughs> I agree. Just, just to like, like, I'm trying to figure out girlish rights, girlish like rights. girlish suffrage. I mean, it's it's definitely more non-binary inclusive, right? Girlish division two basketball. Just you wait, Iblis Trigger. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> it's definitely different. I will say that. The GNBA? <laughs> Man. It's girlish, is what it is. It's girl adjacent. This would not be a level where I could avoid killing all the robots. Eric, stop killing robots. I They're your friends. Cannot. Literally impossible. Oh my god, what is. What is this? Where are we? Uh, these these robot parts that are sort of spinning around in the foreground are is 
really a lot. I like it. I like it very it's much. Very it's very rated T for team for robot gore. Yep. Okay. What now? Well, hold on. Hold on. Oh. Oh. What in the actual fuck is this? Uh, we have to play uh, nine ball. Some sort of nine ball. I guess. Eight. Seven. Six? What does this mean? Uh. uh six. Uh, five. Okay. God, these numbers all have these balls all have the same number. Okay, I I remember. Okay, shit. Uh oh. Eric. Uh oh. Uh oh. So I remember this from watching the um the run button plate. Yep. Or like pieces of it. Yep, I remember yep. this part taking. Uh huh. Maybe not this necessarily button, necessarily this puzzle, but like the the hit the balls part. I remember it taking literally like fucking a thousand years. There is another hit the balls puzzle after this. I do know that. Yeah, and it is. It's a very awful. bad one. Yeah. So. Welcome to the rest of our day, I think. Welcome maybe. to the rest of our evening.com. Yeah, I'm really excited to solve this fucking, like, Yu Gi Oh puzzle. Well, okay. maybe we'll summon Exodia. That could happen. Okay, don't don't hit these balls yet, because what we want to do is wait. Get them each into one of the pockets, <coughs> right? Yeah. Well, I don't think it matters that we do each pocket, necessarily. Yeah, we have nine uses, clearly, to get all the to balls. Get all Oh, and how many balls are there? There's a lot, so... Okay, well, this ball is good. We're good on this one. This okay, one's it's good. Okay, just going. Goodbye! I'm just gonna let these do their shit for a minute, because... Yep. Yeah, the font's very bad. See, this is a 9 with a line under it. So at Yeah, it looks like a 10, but it's not. At GP Memphis, yep. we had... One of the floor judges took a ruling where an important question was asked. So, two players are about to start their match, and one of them's yep. like, odd or even for start seats. The other one says, okay. Yep. And the first player picks up their D12 and rolls uh, their D12. Uh-huh. Oh, God. Why did I just get three of my power uses used? Oof, that's no good. I only did one slap. But you slapped three, three or four or five or nine balls. Oh, I see. I slapped every ball. And yeah, that's the no, problem. Now, now you lost. Oh no, but it's just it's just the balls that I fucked up on that are coming back. Oh, well that's really easy. Someone shooting? I mean at this point it's trivial, right? <laughs> yeah, I was I was playing Apex Legends yesterday, so I'm like, is somebody shooting at me? Ugh. Got so that. Ha what, what happened? What happened in your D D12 rule? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I rolled the play rolls the die right, and they they roll. Uh -huh. and the or the other person's like I pick odd or I pick even, right? Okay. And this so I, the player rolls their die, and they yep. roll it, and they look at it, and they're like, oh man, six. I lost the roll. My opponent said even, and the other uh -huh. person looks at it and thinks, oh man, they rolled a nine. I said even. Oh shit. Uh huh. What so, happened? So, they draw their hands. Yep. And as they're doing it, the person who rolled the die, who thinks they do not have the choice, says, Play? Like, are you on the play? Right. But the other person hears, I'm on the play, out of that. No, it's right. not a cheating DQR. I would not be talking about it on stream. And uh, so the other person says, Sure! Indicating that, sure, you can be on the play. Oh, this is like a fucking 90s sitcom. Yeah, exactly. And so they call my judge over. Humunga Dunga. They Sorry. call. They, no, it's good. I want. I want to talk about Humunga Dunga always. Um, they call the floor judge over, and the floor judge. They describe to the floor judge what happened. Oh, and by the way, one of them mulligans to yep. six, and they both kept their hands on the premise that they would be on the draw. 
And so they call us over, they call the judge over, and they're like, what, what do, judge? We don't know. Right. We both think we're on the draw. One of the guys like, I mulliganed under, you know, false pretenses. Right. Or whatever. He feels like he, he did anyway. And the floor judge is like, uh, this sucks. I'm gonna get the head judge. Right. So Matt gets me. I show up. And I'm like, all right, folks, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna roll this die. And if it's even, you are going first. And if it's odd, you are going first. And they're both like, but I did the thing based, the person Mulligan says, but I did the thing based on being on the draw. And I said, yeah, so did your opponent, who nods yep. vigorously. And Mulligan friend was definitely, like, definitely angling for me to restart the game, which I was not gonna do. Of course, yeah, of course that's what they wanted. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not gonna restart the game. You mulligan! Just because you guys are bad at communicating doesn't mean I'm gonna restart the game. Like, I get it, but also, no. Oh, lord. Can we discuss how shitty it is that Amy Rose's only gameplay in this is, like, I want to stalk Sonic. I think he's over this way. Let's go find him. Oh, yeah, no, it's the worst. Nobody nobody had the girlish perspective in mind when they, they wrote this character. <laughs> they did not. Oh, no! Oh, Amy Rose, why oh, are you Amy. doing this? Amy, come back. Yeah, it was a real failure to communicate, for sure. Failure to agree on reality. Procedural error severe. Eh. A hammer! I got a hammer! Her, her, her mallet is pretty cool. Yeah, it comes from Hammer Space, for sure. Yep. What would you have in Hammer Space if you could have any one, like, Hammer Space item? I can have one Hammer Space item? Hmm. Well... I don't- I'm not- it wouldn't be Bottle Opener, because I have one on my keys, like a, you know, garbage human. So... It would probably be the beer to go with it. <laughs> Just to be always a beer in hammer space. That's a really good idea. That's like a, that's a great power, right? Because like you're at a party, and you're like, man, I don't. Th th all they have here is you know, red light. Yep. Well, now I have my imperial stout. Yep. The pico pico hammer. Yes, that is its name. <laughs> a pen. A pen is good. I find myself needing a pen a lot. And, but always having a pen because of work. So I wouldn't you know, my put a first, pen in there. What would you do? My, yeah. fir my first inclination is a Bitcoin. A Bitcoin? Yeah, one Bitcoin. Like one actual bit, like a physical Bitcoin. Now, what? Like one Bitcoin. What do you think that, what do you think that is? What do I think a Bitcoin is? Yeah, it's, what do you It's money from the future, Eric. Don't you know about Bitcoin? Okay, It's well, money from when in the future money is more bad. So is... Bitcoin to dollars as Dippin' Dots are to ice cream? Is that what you're yes. saying? Yes. Oh, okay. Absolutely. Now I get it. Yeah, Bitcoin is definitely the Dippin' Dots of money. Okay. So I have a Bitcoin there, and every time I need money, I just have the Bitcoin, and I can use it. Now, I feel like the premise was like you had to put something in Hammer Space for later use. No, I just get a Bitcoin every You time. get whatever? A clicky pen with multiple ink colors. Can I change mine to Fidget Spinner? Ooh, Because I'm a one. bored a lot. Now, what about a vape pen? Oh, okay. Now, what's... Is this just like a jewel pod with like a boring a boring vape in it? Or does it have no, like, you, you know... You can have any, like a, any like flavor a, you want. You know... Well, okay, but what if it's not like a flavor? What if it's what, what if uh, what if it's the other thing? Weed. Uh, I don't think you can say that. Um, that's pro it's probably illegal mean, to talk about. You, you mean the wa the wack the wacky tobacco? The wacky tobacco. Yes, yeah, so that one. Those. Yeah. Um, it could be. Yeah, that could be that. Can't say we don't twitch? No. <laughs> Can't say we don't twitch! Okay, well, now we know. Can't say we uh -oh. on twitch. The green slime Somebody... falls from the heavens. <laughs> Canadian yeah, TV There definitely are streamers named, like, XXWeed420, Blaze It. 
XX Weed 420 Blaze the Cat, and then their picture is a picture of Blaze the Cat. Yep, that makes sense. Uh oh. No, no, see, I can stand on this thing on the side. Oh, fancy. Definitely an intended consequence of. Oh, it's the droid from episode one! Is that Rolly Boy, isn't it? You can't stream Persona for long on Twitch? Is that just because of Atlas being like, don't spoil Persona? Or is it because it, the Persona is fucking, like, a lot? Because Persona 5 is a lot. Yes, all of it, yes. I know Atlas is like, don't stream my game. Really? That yeah, sucks. They're very not cool about it, which is frustrating. Because their game is so good, that game is so good. Um, now, I am mad at Atlas right now, so... Why? Okay, so there's a game that I have never played, uh, but that I know about, called Catherine. Okay. And the game has, like, a character in it that transitions, as far okay. as I understand it. And then... Yeah. And then, uh, in the remake of Catherine that came out recently, they, like... Yeah. They changed the, the the canonical ending of the game such that that character, like, never transitions and somehow just, what? like, they're not trans now. What? You yeah. can't do that? No, you super shouldn't. That's bullshit and a half. Now, I, I, like I said, I read this. I haven't played Catherine. I haven't played the remake. I don't know anything other than what, the, what like, Polygon told me, basically. And I, I generally trust Polygon with this shit. Though, I checked, right? like I read it on other websites too, and they also said this. So, like I feel like Polygon's not gonna lie to me about like trans issues. No, usually. they're super not. The non-trans, the non-trans version, version was the, the good, good ending. ending, right? Yeah, that's yeah, that's, like, that's bullshit. I hate it. That's some bullshit. That's the good end, the good ending, and the good ending is you know the canonical ending. So that's some right. some hot garbage. Yeah, they can eat shit. I'm, I'm comfortable saying they can yeah, do it. Yeah, no, so, like, fuck Atlas, and fuck, um, THQ? THQ Nordic, oh, yeah. I believe? them too, yep. For being like, we're gonna do an AMA on 8chan! 8chan. 8chan's <laughs> cool, and not full of fucking, not de-indexed by Google for hosting child pornography. And, 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 like, they're also the site of, like, you know, the Gamergate stuff, and yep. like doxing raids, and, and everything toxic in that community, yep. so it's, like, it's all of it. It's fucking all of it's it. It's garbage all the way down. Like, how... Yeah. How do you even consider... Okay, that was oh, weird. wait! So you clip, you clip through... No, yeah. that's just a cool rail? Oh, I see. Okay. You didn't clip. The other thing is, like, I was seeing Patrick Klepek of, uh, of Waypoint, like, tweet, tweeting out parts of the AMA, and it was clear that, like, the people doing it were super on board with the HM Oh, my like, it wasn't just like, oh, no, we goofed up. We don't know what these people are. They fucking do. Yeah, that's fucking What about weird. Virtual High Life? Oh, yeah, were we playing Virtual High Life for a second? I mean, I... I wanted to play Virtual Hide Live, but then someone reminded me that Atlas made it, so now I don't. Did they make it? Oh, fuck, really? Boo. Because that game's fucking terrible and hilarious, and I really wanted to yep. play it, but now... Yeah, I don't really want to support them. I guess we could support them by showing off their, like, worst, most embarrassing game. It's so frustrating, because, like, Persona 4 does, like, a decent job with Naoto. Yeah, that's true. Streaming Virtual Highlight, I think, like, I might do permanent eye damage to all of us. Oh, for sure. Wait, 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 wait. hang on. I think I figured this out. I think oh, I understand this room. It's not just Humungadunga? No, but like, it's in reverse, see? Oh, reverse a dunga, okay. A virtual boy stream. Do you want us do you do you do you want us to survive? I'm hearing no Whoa. based on. Do, okay, this is we're going backwards. <laughs> Should we not be going this way? Yeah, we we went backwards. I got turned around here. Okay. Headache central. Yeah, I know Eric and I both have 
have had headache issues in our lives. So yes. I don't um, think we need to bring, bring, bring it on any further. Well, the thing is, I wouldn't use a real Virtual Boy. I would, uh, I would, uh, I would emulate the Virtual Boy. <gasps> you would steal from the Virtual Boy company? No, I mean, I would buy a whole retail Virtual Boy. I would buy the whole, what I would do, Chaz, is I would buy the whole boy. And then I would emulate they have it. Do they have virtual girls? For, oh boy! Oh, this is getting. This is going. This is going to a place. <laughs> I mean, somebody has virtual girls. So I don't know if it's Nintendo. They, mm, I mean, you don't know that it's not. <laughs> I don't know that it's not. What if it is Nintendo? I mean, there's plenty of animes about that, right? Like, there's. I'm sure. Isn't every anime about that? Isn't, isn't, uh, isn't there a virtual girl in Code Lyoko? There is, yeah. I, I don't know how, how familiar our chat is with the, like, French nonsense that make Code Lyoko. But... <laughs> or, as Emily still calls it, Kid Kazungalo. Yeah. I don't even know where that came from. I, I think just Emily's brain. Yeah, definitely. Ailita, that is the name. That is it. Yep, it is Aelita. Oh, no! This is the one. Eric, this is the one. So I guess the lock will yeah, Code Lyoko sort of ruled. Gunpei Yukoi was hit by a bus, right? I'm remembering that right? He was literally hit by a bus, and it was very That's tragic. Sucks. So we hit the ball once. Okay. That seems like that seems like that was a very good hit, right? Oh, but it just kicked down to seven by itself. Rude well, ass I think when ball. It the, when it hits the wall, that's a bad. No, I think it's a time thing. No, no. Okay. Five. Okay. Well, this is a problem. Nope, now we're done. Okay, well, it's well, we, done. We should at least see where we're going, right? Like, right. let's look ahead. Don't just wreck the room like a bad boy. Well, I... No, so, he just picked them up when I was trying to shove the thing. Chaz. Yeah? Do you hear that? I do. You what know what that mean? sound is? I don't. Is your rice ready? No, that's the end of the level. Oh, shit. It's behind okay. the door. Yeah, but getting through that door, Eric. Well, we're probably not going to lose any lives. Yep. Nihilism, yes, no. The, 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 the end, the end is behind that door. The ending. Oh boy, this is the worst game of nine ball I've ever seen. Nine so ball! Gah! So, when you think about Sonic yeah. the Hedgehog, is this what you think about? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Is this like not? You're thinking about the agreement about playing a Sonic game, or you like, yeah, this pinball with this with the wind ball? No. Uh, uh, yeah. That, no. That, that that did a hook. That, when I yeah, when I think about Sonic, yeah. Here's what I think about. It. Hey, how does the stream look actually right now? Cause it kind of looks weird on my monitor here. On my other. Oh, uh, well, seems fine to me. Like quality-wise, looks okay. Uh, other people can say it looks fine on my double stream, double screen in it here. It looks okay. Okay, it doesn't look like shit. That's cool. Um, yeah, somebody else can weigh in if it does. Yeah, yeah. Let me know. Because right if it does, I'll ch fix it for next week. Other than the terrible game, it's good? Okay, cool, that's... Yeah, I think the issue here is what we're doing. Like, the things that we're doing. They're just bad to look at and They're bad to do. They're very bad. They're bad to look at, bad to do. Just bad things. Nope. Bounce back. Bounce back for me. The worst, Eric, is that you're a little bit ahead of me. So, like, you're reacting. You're, you're like, oh, no reaction. 
come right before I know what's really gone. And what I realized is that like knowing knowing the immediate future is a curse. Like a very oh, yeah. bad, bad curse. I would very much rather not know the immediate future. Not knowing because when I do, yeah. it's just like I just get this pit in my stomach of like, how's it gonna end? You know that feeling? Have you ever witnessed a car accident? Yes. You know that feeling Many you get times, yes. just before the one car fucking plows into the other one or hits the guardrail or whatever, and you go... Yes, I do. Oh, fuck. Is that what this yeah. is? Not that extreme, because people aren't actually, like, getting... Sure, clear, sure, sure, but, sure, but it's that same family. Yeah, the, the video game version of that. Obviously, it's not as, as bad, right, as human peril. Because we're the only ones in, in mild to medium peril. I mean, I do think my chances of dying on stream are higher than dying not on stream. <laughs> well, let's... Any actuaries in the chat tonight? Uh, we're doing alright. We're doing okay. I think you might be able to get it. Don't don't say stuff like that! Never say that! <laughs> Oh, see there? I, I thought it was in all the way until that. The U.S. <laughs> you thought about taking an actuary exam? That does count. What are your odds of thinking about taking an actuarial exam and then actually doing it? That's probably on the test. I probably shouldn't say that. The U.S. localizers are trying to mitigate the shittiness that's present in the Japanese version. That's, uh... Well, they clearly did a bad job. Yeah, I mean... Unless you're saying they're going to patch it. In which case, okay. Because, like, I don't want to never buy a Persona game again, but I will. Yeah, I got really interested in playing Catherine until I heard about that, and now I'm definitely not playing the remake. I'll yeah, that much. that's how I found out about it, was like... Oh, I don't know, I just assumed the English version was out from all the fucking press. Oof, 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 oof. Yeah, I have uh, I can't imagine, yeah. a lot of a lot of my a decent a decent number of people I follow are are uh, are on trans Twitter, and so I have a little a little bit of trans Twitter on my timeline, and people were very justifiably unhappy very angry, and I was also angry when I found out. Some, as you should be. Someone. As we all should be. Yeah. I will I will read that article when we're not streaming. Probably tomorrow in the airport. Yeah. Yeah, the game itself is old. Like, Catherine's been around forever, and that ending has not. Right. The new version is only out in Japan. Okay. Well, Japan well, it's is... Not... Japan is a lot, so it's not less bad. Well, Japan is also a country where trans people have to get sterilized. Uh, in, in case you didn't know that. Which is horrible. Yeah, I, I did read about that, that Supreme Court decision that was... Yup! Maybe going to get rid of it and did not. And they were like, nah, this is fine. Let's keep this law. Japan is yeah, very bad I, for, for trans I think folks. it was I think it was uh I think it was a unanimous one too. It was not uh <laughs> I didn't hear about anybody on the court saying, no, let's help people. So if we get rid of these boxes ahead of time, they're just gonna respawn, right? Oh for sure. Because, you know, Captain Amer all Captain America's shit is in there. I don't know if you've looked at those boxes, but that's where all his shit is. Sure. Why wouldn't it be? So it does appear as though these things are like, every time you hit it, but also arbitrarily after a few seconds, it'll tick down. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or like when the game decides, no, you probably had to use your psychic power to turn or run for a minute. 
Do you think that when they advertised this game, there were like over 50 hours of gameplay and like three of those hours were just this puzzle? Probably, <laughs> yeah. Chop! Okay, no, bounce for me. Bounce for me. No, not like that though. Puzzle. Puzzle, yeah. Yeah, I'm not like very, I'm like a, mm, I am good and thoroughly puzzled by this. you're playing and not me because I would be so tempted to just keep following the ball into the abyss to just drown myself in its sorrow. That would- And then I would run out of lives. See, that would only work for me if it wasn't silver and it was me right now. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready for the abyss, Chaz. <laughs> Aren't we all? The abyss- I stared into the abyss while I was trying to chop that ball and the abyss stared back. I'm starting a thing where I'm drinking a sip of wine each time you kill the ball. And oh, that's sick. That's not gonna go good. I'm so happy for you. Does this game get better the more you drink? No. No. <laughs> Just like, <laughs> flatly no. <laughs> Completing the palace in one day. Yeah, that's the way to do shit. Persona efficiency. Speaking of game studios I don't support, I was talking about yep. Apex Legends earlier, and I want to remind yep. everyone not to give EA any money ever. Uh, is, is Apex Legends an EA game? It's 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 on Origin, so it's uh, it, they, they're at least it, it, EA is at least getting money when you like buy loot boxes. Did not know. Respawn is a great company. Yeah, I, that's what I had heard. Yeah, okay, but, but it is also an EA. But Apex, game. the pu EA is publishing it. As I understand it. it. Okay. EA is the publisher like here. In the same same way that my doppelganger Gabe Newell gets money every time you uh, buy something on Steam, right. EA gets something when you buy loot crates in Apex Legends. So sorry respawn. Don't buy loot crates in Apex Legends. EA is a garbage Good company. They exploit their workers. They release unfinished games um, and then slap DLC on them. I've definitely done that. I've definitely fallen for that shit before from them. Yep. Titanfall was great. Oh, jeez. Oh. Well. Fuck it all, then. This is... Is this, your, is this the most frustrating level we've played yet? I've reached sort of a zen state where okay. I know that we will accomplish this and I know that yes. because there's no risk of death no. there's no realistic risk that Silver the Hedgehog will decease here you, me, maybe well, Silver, not there, there is, the way he'll die is if you get frustrated and throw him into the abyss Right. so really it's all up to you is there a timeout point? nah not that I know of. If there is, I don't think so. none of the playthroughs I've seen of this game have hit it, and that feels like it would be impossible. Come on. Yeah, no, there's no, there's no timer music. There's none of that. Is is Silver your least favorite hedgehog? For sure, easily. Of all hedgehogs, hedgehogs worldwide, Silver is my least favorite hedgehog. Okay. Alright. Oh! Yeah, the drowning music? Eric! 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 Okay, but... Okay, but... Why am I getting a call from North Carolina? Go away. Woo! Woo! Huh. Huh. Yeah! Oh my god. Oh my god. We spent a half hour in that level. Woo! We spent 20, 26 minutes, and at least eight of them were on that. How long we, we spent on that? 
We deserve an S for sucking it up and doing it. How did we get a C? How did we not get a D? <laughs> we got at least 500 points. Oh my god. Only a C for come on. A C for Seffert. <laughs> Hal's hole in one golf. <laughs> oh my god. There was a code you could put in to get, like, metal metal clubs, like metal woods in that game. I remember if you named yourself the right thing, get better clubs. That's what I remember about Hal's Hole-in-One Golf for the Super Nintendo. I had a golf game for the Mac growing up that had a club called the Woody, which was broken as shit. The Woody? The Woody would make any ball go, like, 700 yards. It was amazing. Fucking nice. Was it, was it like, a Beach Boys car? No. It was just like I've been looking for him. You know you got your irons and you got your wood trick and then you got the wood. The woody, yeah, hi. Yeah. Oi! This is the woody, right? Who are you? Why not? Wait a minute. Is this the opposite? We have to play it's no use? Yeah, we have to it's no use Sonic. <gasps> Raperson, thank you for the bits, friend. Yeah, well we definitely had the same bad Mac golf. It's time to be no use. Now, this should be really easy, right? We should be able to hurl sure. Sonic into the skybox and pick him right back up and <laughs> hurl him into a wall, right? Right? Yeah, I mean, we died 100,000 times that way. We should be able to just... Sonic and Shadow. Yeah, we should be able to just do that. Like, why wouldn't we be able, why would we be able to do that, right? It should be, just be trivial. Drink! Drink! Oh, drink! Mm. Uh, what? Oh. Uh, up, uh, up, uh, up. Uh, uh. Now there's one on my hand. Not one on my desk now. and on my hand. Sorry, Silver. Wait. You're gonna die a couple times. <laughs> there's more for me to get the wine off my desk because my hand wobbled. I mean, honestly, this is kind of satisfying watching Sonic beat Silver up a hundred times because now. I feel like this is revenge. Oh, that's this revenge for all of the times that Silver killed Sonic and Shadow. It was really no use. It's, well, we ran out of lives. That's that was the fine. End of our lives. Silver dying repeatedly is my aesthetic, so this is cool. <laughs> like, sex is cool, but have you ever seen Silver the Hedgehog sure. just die over and over again? It's great. Well, the, the two genders are Silver and Silver dying repeatedly. <laughs> <laughs> Tag yourself. If, no, I saved between. I saved it, between. It, if you didn't, if you didn't, I would, I would be the fucking girl from the ring come through your computer and give you seven days left to live. If you fucking Sadako me over Sonic 06, I would understand. Yep. <laughs> I did drink a lot of wine there in, in the between time just now. Inside gaming thing that happened a few weeks ago. Now, are you talking about like a thing inside the gaming industry that happened that you can't talk about, or are you talking about a thing involving something called like inside gaming that when you say it's this, I'm going to go, oh yeah, or yeah, what is know. that? Because <clears throat> I don't want to say I know, because I might not. Something called inside gaming. All right. What do I need to know? What's the scoop? What's the yeah? What's fill the, us in so we can be excited too. What's the dish? What's the hot? What's on the table? We just got fucking WWE body slammed by Sonic got, the goddamn Hedgehog. We got Fizzone. Like I want to go to Pizza Hut and get a Fizzone because we got Fizzone. Here I come. Oh. I definitely Here threw I Sonic. Oh, he just spin jumps. Throw him into the skybox. Here I come. Oh, he can just assault him. This is a table flatters and chairs match. <laughs> Machinima. I'm, I'm, going to take your, I'm going to take all of your wrestling knowledge as canon, but you can make shit up if you want, because I'll never know. No, table flatters and chairs matches are real. Okay. Or ta tables, ladders, and chairs is like a pay-per-view that they do every year, where they have. Is that just where you have, you can throw debris at people? So a ladder match is where you can climb. You, the goal is to like pull a briefcase down from the ceiling, and you have to uh -huh. set up and climb a ladder to do it, and that's how you win. Oh, I, 
I remember that from Steven Universe. Yeah. My one and only experience of wrestling. A table match is where you have to put someone through a table. Yep. Like, through it. They, did, they didn't have that on Steven Universe, but they did have that on that Polygon wrestling yeah. video series. And then chairs are just, like, some, some steel chairs from Target that they hit each other with. Okay. Off, off the top of Hell of a Cell, up Hell in a Cell in 1999. Yeah, right, right. Boy, your re- your wrestling knowledge is really leveling up, dude. That's a meme. That's oh, a okay. that's a meme. Okay. 96. Eric, See, I don't even know the meme right. Before you put the man through it, then you have to get that another table. See, the thing is, you there's do? there's always tables under like the the wrestle place, like under the ring. Like, uh-huh. even when it's See, not go... table time, there's always tables under there and, like, chairs and kendo sticks and just other shit under there. So you have to change your name to, like, Macho Man events, event staff and, like, go down there and, like, get the next table. There's always... Yeah, there's... Exactly. You, you have to get it... You, in order to wrestle in some states and set up the table, you actually have to be in their, their union. It doesn't matter. Oh. For the sake of the future, the English All those states where I'm not allowed to move tables in convention centers, it's the same. Got it. I wonder if I could argue next time they try to be like, nah, you can't move that table, son, this is a union shop. And I could be like, no, this is for the show. This is part of the show. You should just join the tables union. I would, I would join the tables union. I need better insurance. Oh my god, it's the tables union has insurance. Holy shit. They should. As long as I'm paying dues. Yeah. If I didn't get insurance from Emily's school, I would join the Tables Union. Emily's school has good insurance for spouses, huh? Because my school sure fucking didn't. Right. Emily's school has good insurance for spouses. That's good. Okay, so... Machinima just became Inside Gaming. Oh, I see. <laughs> You're all... Kill? Yeah. Oh, I had okay. He's responsible for destroying my world. That's crazy. So everything went <laughs> backwards. <laughs> okay. But it's true. In the near future, his actions will cause the devastation of my world. So I must. I don't believe it. Even if that was true. <laughs> what? If I had to choose between the world and Sonic. I would choose Sonic. This, you are, oh, Jesus, God, I hate your character. Why are you raping Amy, no. Way? Amy, there's a lot of hedgehogs in the world, not just one Sonic. And Sonic is kind of a dick. Yeah. And he doesn't even like you. Yeah, Amy need to, needs to read some, uh, some Ayn Rand and really learn about utilitarianism, right? Now, Eric, right, Chaz? No, that's not even right, a good Chaz? Joke. It's time to not read The Fountainhead, joke. right, Chaz? No, is that what we're doing? No, no, this is very bad. <laughs> so I'm not is, okay joking about it because that's going to mean somebody in her chest is going to be like, I don't know, maybe she got a point. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> well, uh, Blaze... Amy is written almost worse than Kyrie. I would argue that Amy is written worse than Kyrie. Is that really the right thing to do? You're so naive. Whether it's right or wrong, I can't really say. I didn't play three yet. That's true. I'm scared. If we don't take this chance, the future will remain exactly as it is. Nah, dog. You've already done change the future by coming back. True. I still think Blaze the Cat is at least a, a far better character than Amy. Oh no, Blaze the Cat is using brain for things. Yeah. I'm super into that. Rather than, like, I am I have no problem with characters that are driven by emotion. That's totally yeah. fine. Most everyone is driven by emotion, and that's, you know, important. But when, when you're literally saying, if I had to choose between the end of the world and Sonic, I would use Sonic. Nope. I, guess... I wouldn't even choose Sonic the drive-in over the world. No. And, and they got good fries. No, they got that cherry shake thing. The cherry... Because you know what, Eric? What? The world has a lot of other drive-ins that aren't just Sonic. They're still Wendy's. Yeah, you can still go to Wendy's. You can still go to Wendy's. I guess that's the moral of the story is you can always, always still Wendy's. go to Wendy's. Okay, last... I love a single layer... 
Eric, hold the phone. I want a single-layered extreme. <laughs> Is that on the 99 value meal? Oh, uh, well, it allows me to use hold smash. You see, whatever I've grabbed, I can throw it all instead of throwing it one thing by one thing, which takes an hour. Cool. I don't know what that means, but sure. No idea. Well, you'll see. The, this, okay. I don't know. This lets me use gravel, which I think I bought at the hardware store once when I dropped my keys down an elevator shaft. I, yeah, I put grab all down my sink once, and then that didn't go well. <laughs> Hold the square button during jump to, be to perform Psycho Shock. I mean, we have infinite rings and nothing to spend them on. We might as well buy everything. Oh, no, I always buy everything. Yeah. Bad ice cream. What's bad ice cream? I have had bad ice cream. I'm, I'm curious about this specific bad ice cream, though. <laughs> Oof! Do not apply to genitalia. Or do. I mean, you know, do it. Or do. Sorry, the flavor is milkshake and fries. It's. I. No? I, I a hundo, I, no, I 100% would buy that. No! You like Frosties and French fries? Yes, as you should. But. But you can't put the fry flavor in the ice cream. They have to be separate friends. I would I would buy this. Wait, it has potato slivers in it? No, fuck that. No, fuck that. Fuck it's got that. potato fuck slivers that. in it? Yeah, no, I'm not okay with this. I've changed my mind. By the way, that's how you open the, do this puzzle. Okay. No, I will not. I didn't know it had potatoes in it. I thought it was just like trying to evoke the flavor of dipping a fry into a Frosty. I used to get a calzone in Amherst at a place called DP Dough. I know, I know. Yep. No, uh, they have one of those here. They have one in Denver. Oh my god! They they do. They had yeah, they in, do. They had one in Columbus too. We had one in Amherst. Um, I used to get a calzone called the Falling Rock Zone that had, like, potato and cheese and bacon. And then you, did, you got sour cream to dip it in. And it was really yeah. just horrible and good. Yep. Yeah. And then one day, like, the DB dough was... They, they weren't open anymore. And it's not like they were, like, unexpectedly uh -oh. closed for the day. They just weren't there anymore. And so, like, two weeks later, they came back and all their equipment was gone... And they put up a sign that was like, We'll be back. Sorry, Amherst. We'll be back soon. Just like a handwritten yeah. sign that was like, Never came back. We're not, okay. we're not here right now, but we'll be, we'll come back. Don't, don't you worry. We'll be back for you. And, uh, long story short, they didn't pay their taxes. So well, they're gone. Eric, you gotta, you gotta pay your taxes. I mean, do you? I think you do. You gotta pay them. That's the thing about the government is they want you to pay your taxes. Okay, but does anybody even know how to do that? No. It's really... It's very difficult. Okay, I definitely don't know how to do it. Because I've never done it. Okay, well, that's a problem. Uh-huh. No, I don't think so, because nobody's ever had anything to say about it. I mean... Yeah, that's like wag. Know. Yeah, it is. Oof. Yeah. Okay. If nobody's ever said anything, you're probably fine. Nobody's ever, like, bothered me about bo paying my taxes. Now, are you... Are, do you live in... Which country do you live in? I'm a multi-billion dollar corporation. Oh, no, that's allowed. Okay. Sorry, cool, I, cool, I, cool, I, thought, cool, cool. I thought you were, like, a poor, poor to medium poor person. No, no, no. I'm a multi-billion oh, multi dollar multi corporation. Oh, you, you don't have to pay taxes. Yeah, okay, cool, cool, ever, cool. Ever. You're fine. You're good. I just wanted to check... Yeah, no, it's all good. I say a lot of stuff about charity, but then I don't do anything with it. That's fine, right? Uh, Emma, I have wine. You can come in here and get some. I have to do the whole level again. We didn't yeah. hit a checkpoint. They don't have checkpoints in this one. It's, it's uh, you're just sort of going. Great. Good. Yeah, all those Twitch taxes. I, we, we have yet to, by the way, to see a single set from, from Twitch.tv. Well, I, I think if you get less than, like, $20 a month or something, they just don't pay you. Well, no, you have to get up to $100 total, and then they'll, then they'll pay you. Okay, we, so we have not made it to the hundo. hundo no, I think last, at last count we have, like, $17. Okay. 
Okay. Which $17 I, is pretty good. Which That's I'm great. pretty honestly very happy with. I don't want people yeah, I'm to think happy with that, too. that I'm not happy with it. That's more money than I ever yeah. thought we would make. I will say this, chat. If you somehow get us to the $100 mark ever, at that point I will drive all the way to St. Louis and we will spend the money together and then go stream later that night and talk about yeah. what we did. Yeah, we'll, we'll throw ourselves a fucking party. We'll, we'll, yeah. we'll, 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 we'll do a... We'll do social media about it. Yeah, it'll be great. It's gonna be incredible if we ever now, get. Now, granted, that's going to be in about 2022. Right. But... And, and at that point, whatever we want to visit will have been destroyed by the, the changing climate. Well, yeah, but I'm just trying to set expectations. Yeah, no, I know, I know. Camera change. Camera change. Woof! This is a bad camera. Woof. I memorized where the camera change was so we wouldn't die again! Not to say that that was a difficult thing to do, because it wouldn't. No, but still, that's something. Man, this has been our just, like, downer stream. Has it? I don't know, like, we talked about- I mean, maybe it's just, like, our angry stream. Maybe it's, like, our angry stream. We talked about, like, Michael Cohen and- That's true, we did, yeah. Cathedral Cellar Cab Sav 2015. Now, what do I need to know about this wine? What makes this wine a wine crime? Does it have a good label? Is it made by a celebrity? Is it is it full of hatch green chilies? I bought some bad looking wines today, by the way. I'm excited. I have to. This is, I'm done with my bad wines. I have to go back to the store and find more for next time. Yeah, today I was just like, you know what? If I'm here. Coral, you had some bad wine this week? Oh, it cost the amount of money we would have to Oh. Nice. Coral, what was your bad wine? God. Like, in between... I forgot, like... It was so nice to be fucking... To be Blaze the Hedgehog. That Wait, I forgot... Blaise what it was like to be Blaze the what? Blaze the who? Oh, Blaze the cat. I don't fucking know. I don't know anymore who, what is, species, Eric, why. not everything is a hedgehog. I'm not this, everything in the world is a hedgehog. This game is called Sonic the Hedgehog, and you spend less than a third of it, less than a third of the game, playing as Sonic the fucking hedgehog. Yeah, they definitely should have called this game Sonic and Shadow and Silver and fuck, go fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Eat shit, Cole. Eat shit, 2006. Yeah, Coral, if I saw a wine called Spellbound with a sick label, I would 100% buy it as well. I would have super bought so, that, yeah. Yeah. I definitely want a witchy wine. Like, we... I would up the witch percentage in my wine, for sure. I saw a wine today called Witching Hour, but it looked like, you Ooh, know, no. like a like a good wine. Like, maybe, like, a good wine for the $7 yeah. that it was. Like, not like a good wine, but a good $7 wine. So I didn't sure. buy it. You can't have good wine. I mean, actually, we're having pretty good wine tonight. Emma, what do you think of the Walking Dead one? I found it actually pretty good. Robotussin and Black Liquor. That's a bad combination. Robo trip and doof. I remember Robo Robo trip is a phrase I haven't heard since 2000 and late. Yeah, that's that's a that's a rough one. I remember. Um, oh, you have to stand in the. I remember being in California and finding something in a convenience store, like a drink, called sippin' syrup, which was supposed to be a a non-illegal alternative to basically robo tripping is supposed to taste. wait yeah wait yeah it was supposed to so taste. somebody <laughs> sorry yeah no go go sorry. ahead go for it yes somebody said the thing i like about robo tripping is the taste uh-huh not the, not the high but the taste i'm going to drink a fucking shirley temple version of cough syrup well okay but here here's what i think happened Ad execs, okay. marketing execs, were like, hey, yes. what are the kids doing? And then Kevin... Vape tricks, yeah. Kevin, the, the VP of drinks, the VP of drinks was like, I, my son, I caught my son drinking cough syrup for fun. 
and so we made a drink. Let's make a drink that is cough syrup and tastes like cough syrup, but isn't cough syrup, so the children will purchase it. That's what happened. There's no way. Now, I don't. I don't mean to step again on your bit, but I am horrified here that Emma is somehow okay with drinking fucking non-alcoholic Dimetap, but gave me shit for thinking that the, like, fries and milkshake ice cream might be <laughs> Excuse me. That's amazing. Wow. At that point, just make a Jolly Rancher. Just make a great Jolly Rancher. If we're going to be putting trash into our mouth, Emma, let's just go to Taco Bell. <laughs> Or at least the Guy Fieri's American Cabernet or whatever. I almost went. Yeah. I was in the Cleveland airport. And you know that Cleveland yep. is the home to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah. And because of this, in the Cleveland airport, in Terminal A, yep. I want to say, maybe C, it's a small-ass airport. The terminals are hilarious. Sure. Not a lot of people go to Cleveland. And not a lot of people leave, if you know what I mean. A. I don't know what but I don't know what you mean, neither, actually. Neither do I. Um, but uh, it was the entrance to B. <laughs> I love that you know already, Io. Is, is this is this, is this the, the, the Taco Bell with liquor? Because I was following Io on Twitter when that happened. No, 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 no. That was on Thursday. That was outside the airport, and we went there on purpose. Um, this was okay. the Sammy Hagar uh, bar and kitchen. Oh boy! I almost went, but then I decided to go to the unaffiliated uh, it's on Thursday for you. It's on Thursday. Oh, I see. <laughs> you ran it back. Good for you. I went and got expensive cocktails on Friday, and they were delicious. Uh, but yeah, it was the Sammy Hagar Bar and Grill, and boy, did they have just a disgusting-looking menu. Now, can you, can you explain to me what Samuel Hagar has cooked up for me in Cleveland? All right, so here are some of the op options. Actually, you know what? You know what? There's a, there's a way. There's a way to do this. Okay. We're just going to type this in. Sammy Hagar's Beach Bar and Grill. Ooh, he's got like a Jimmy Buffett thing going on. Sammy, I didn't know you had it in you. He does. It's very Cabo Wabo. Everything is islandy, so you can get like the of island course. burger with pineapple oh. salsa, BBQ sauce, and crispy onions. I would eat it. Everything I would, has. I would. I would house that one. Yep. All the tacos have some kind of crema on them. I would house them. Yep. Uh, Sorry. The thing about our stream is that I don't have dinner before it. <laughs> oh no! I so probably like, should. At, at about like the two hour mark, we always end up talking about like bad fast food because I get very hungry. Oh, I'm not gonna read you this menu then. Like, that's the thing is you're gonna read me all these things that are horrifying and I'm like, yeah, I would fucking destroy that right now. Put that in front of me, it's gone. Yeah. No, I get it. I get it, I hear that. I really do. Yeah. Away. So I, I don't know if you know what I did last weekend, Derek. What did um, you do? But I, so we had a uh, some of our friends here in Denver had a party, mm -hmm. uh, and the theme of the party was TED Talks. Oh. So everyone who came got to like do their own TED Talk. They got as much time as they wanted to prepare ahead of time. Um, and uh, so we we all did TED Talks and heard a bunch of things. That sounds awesome. And my, mine was uh, a 10-minute presentation trying to explain what Yacht Rock was. Oh, that's amazing. How did that go? I, I, it went well. I have a recording of it for you. Oh, I shit. Made some good, I made some very good slides. I'm very excited to see this. And it was a lot of fun. What are we doing here? What is the problem that we're trying to solve? Yes, yeah, uh, it actually did, I think, get some people on the boat. That's I wonderful. I think uh, people were into it. It was definitely... I was expecting... It's definitely, like, confusing to get people on the boat. They're either like... It is. Oh, yeah, I know those musicians. You know, of course. Or most of the time, they're like... 
Who's the Larson Feetin band? And why do I <laughs> care? We, we didn't get there. But we did get into why why all of the garbage that you think Yacht Rock is is Neon. Right. So you started with Exhibit Brandy. Exhibit B a for lot Brandy. Of it, a lot of it was me being very pedantic about what Yacht Rock is and being very angry about things that were not. And well, I appreciate it that's on brand for you. Yeah. <laughs> Yacht Rock versus Butt Rock. Wow. I'd watch that presentation. Just like... I was... Yacht Rock I, I was very it. thrilled when, like, I was playing Yacht Rock songs throughout, and, uh, yeah, and, um, at a certain point I just started playing Margaritaville as Yacht Rock, and people were audibly groaning, and that was a delight. Oh, perfect. A lot of people in this party like pedantically debating what counts as which genre. Yeah, I mean, I think at a TED Talk party, once you're, once you're having a TED Talk party, like, that's where you live, right? You live in the pedantic place. And I mean I that feel like a great was way. the most the most pedantic. Well, I would expect that. Coral's dad is a parrot head. Now, is he a parrot head in that he listens to James Buffett, or is he a parrot head in a in a way of life? I am actually more supportive of people who make it a way of life because I feel like the idea of like I'm gonna tailgate right on a Friday. I'm like 50-something, 60-something years old. I'm gonna drink wine and wear a loud shirt and listen to music about being in the tropics. I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm, I get that and I'm into it. Yeah, I, I don't really like Jimmy Buffett's music because it's bad. I'm very into the not giving a fuck part of the ethos. Yeah, I kind of like the Jimmy Buffett ethos, if I'm being honest. It's a pretty good one. Beach Hobo? Yeah. Yeah, Beach Hobo. Oh, that's a cute little ghost! We got a ghost? Yeah! Yeah, look at that little ghost in chat! Uh, where is it? Little ass spoopy boy! Oh, there he is! Hey! We got, we got... Caterbergs here, think... doing his, his twi Twitch staff thing. Testing, uh, testing his feature! Cool. Look at that! I think he left because the Parrot Head Club in the city... The Parrot Head Club in the city because it's a bunch of swingers. Yeah, that's super on brand. That's... Very. That sounds very normal. It'll show up for y'all soon. Well, was it the ghost? Thank you. Was it the creepy ghost that I love? The adorable ghost? Because I see I do it. Like the ghost. It's a really cute one. That's a good ghost. <laughs> Boom. That level was fun. Wasn't that a fun game? Yeah, fun this level. This, the Sonic the Hedgehog game. This is a game? good. I like game. Games are fun. Do you like to 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 play to play to play games? What's fun for you? Uh, Can you tell me what fun is? Uh, not anymore. Okay. Spoopy hugs are best hugs. Spoopy hugs. Hugs are out there. <laughs> Lots of hugs are the best hugs. It's just like, just like. Just like a good hug. Just a good hug. I guess a spoopy hug would be a hug out of nowhere where your partner's like, boo, and then gives you a big <laughs> hug. My experience with people at Jimmy Buffett concerts is they're mostly high, okay so far, and really prone to giving jello shots to underage girls. Not okay! No. Very no. bad! Super no. bad! Goodbye, Jimmy Buffett Bye. and fandom. Burn it we down. Burn, burn it them down! down. Get me a Seth Rollins and burn it down. Oh, look at that cupcake. These are good emotes. Cheer emotes. Looks yeah, like as, as, as a member of Fish fandom, my experience with people at Fish concerts is they like getting high and getting everyone else high and getting high and then getting high again. Right, and they're kind of like oh, safe no. about it. Yeah. They're like safer than as I understand it. <laughs> I think okay. I don't no 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 what? no. What? Do you remember this boss? Do you remember this boss? Oh, hey, do you no. remember this boss? Oh, Eric, I remember this boss. Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that! That good. Oh, flag. you got a flag. That That's good. Great. That good rainbow flag cheer mode. I didn't know we had that. That's very oh, good. Is that ours? Hell yeah, Twitch. Sweet. Also, thank you, Io, for those good bits. A guard, huh? Just try to stop me. A guard? 
This is not a- this is a giant robot! Okay. Yeah, alright, if our chat is just mono, uh, pride flags and ghosts... Like, yeah, for sure. That's an aesthetic we can fucking get behind for the rest of our lives. Pride flags and ghosts is- is the name of my... I don't know. I don't even have a name of my cover band joke for this one. <laughs> The music in this is like old timey infuriated. Oh yeah. You know what else is old timey infuriating? What? The cameras? I mean the the camera's like, yeah, it's like fucking Buster Keaton's behind it. I'm like, alright, friends. Give me a second to crank it up real good. Let's just I don't wanna know that any of these characters have feet. Can you accomplish that? Camera two, <laughs> are you on this? Eric, Eric, what if the reason that this game has too much lag is because the cameraman is just hand cranking the whole time? Oh, oh. This is like a somebody hand cranking Sonic 06. Help, Chaz, Chaz, what I, here's yeah. what I want you to do, is just, yeah. just keep saying hand cranking. Just keep saying that. Eric, you're making it dirty, but it's a it's part of film history. Uh huh. Uh huh. In the in the history of film back in the no, day, you had there's... to hand crank. You had to hand crank your camera, and you sometimes you wanted to make crank it really fast. No. But you... sometimes you had to crank it pretty slow. No, I understand, Chess. There's a lot of hand cranking on film. There's a lot of websites right. for that if you want to check them yeah. out. There's... You got to crank. So you you. The thing about hand cranking, right, is you don't want to. You, you you definitely want to vary your speeds if you want to create. <laughs> Now, now when you don't want to just crank at the same speed, but if you just for a normal scene, right, a normal scene, you you want to keep it pretty steady for a while. Just keep it steady as long as you can. Really, you don't want to vary that speed. You know, if something really exciting happens, you really want to speed up and crank really fast because that'll make the scene feel like it's going slow. <laughs> See, now you learned about film. Now I learned about you know, film. I learned about about historical film. All right, a great time doing it. Yeah. Cranking. Yeah, no. There's a lot of there's a lot of good uh, there's there's money in hand cranking these days even. Yeah, well, there's some. Some people are, you know, do it on the professional circuit. Some people do more amateur work. You know. Well, to be fair, a, a lot of it is automated now. You can get the machines that'll do it for you. Yeah, that's... It'll, it'll crank at a very consistent rate for you know, and that's really nice. So, but sometimes you do want to have the old, the old bring out the old hand. I know. heard that stuff is big in Japan. Yeah. I mean, it's also big with the young people. That's true. Alternative mechanisms for cranking. Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah, for sure. There's a lot of design that can be done in this area. Have we have we even come close to like even getting up here or like what's going on? Oh no, we can't go up because yeah. we're silver. Oh, I don't know if you know this, but silver can't do going. Okay. Yeah, the grip definitely grip is very oh, important. Oh, that, that key grip, that fast the boy grip. grip. I was well, I was gonna say the best boy is also really important when it comes to hand cranking. He's the best one. He's the best boy. Yeah. And really, I know you were talking about calzones earlier, but you could definitely do... I think you could do a very good scene over at DP. Uh, yeah. No. I brought my DP over to DP. Yeah. Well, that's what the DP... That's what the <laughs> DP's job is. <laughs> the DP's job does involve a lot of hand cranking, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. See, I knew a film word. You did. I knew You're a dirty going. one. You did. <laughs> <laughs> I knew the, the, the good nasty one. Oh, boy. Our, we, we're really living up to our 80% wholesome, 20% horny uh, reputation tonight. Oh, yeah, no, we're right in, we're right in that 20%. Yeah. <laughs> Charge of the D's and the B's. Oh, my God. Yeah, Omega, I am also a visual media arts major. <laughs> All right, we got the missiles. Oh, I should have been throwing these boxes. Oh, sure, why not? Frame rate! It's the hand crank, it's going real fast. Yeah, they're cranking it real hard over at Sonic Headquarters. 
the thing that really, and I know this isn't a DP joke or anything, but the thing that, like, really still gets me about this game is how you have, like, these secondary characters that follow you around for purely cosmetic reasons, die a lot, and don't do anything. Did I say hedge quarters? <laughs> you did say hedge quarters. Oh, that's great. I know. I think I hit it in its middle part. That didn't do. No, I think it did do. It did a little damage. I don't, I don't think anything do. Though if you beat, if you beat the oh. bad ball puzzle, I think you can beat this as well. I broke something off of it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's what you have to do. Broke it off real good. You gotta do the do. Now, Eric, you know what? I spent about an hour today Doing reading about a bad... A bad bathroom on something awful, which oh. I also learned is still around. Oh, that bad bathroom! <laughs> did you also read about the bad bathroom? I sure as fuck did! Oh, right. uh, can, we talk, can we talk about the bad bathroom? Yeah, Ty Tuesday was tweeting about it. Uh, yeah. my buddy, uh, my buddy Boyks was tweeting about it. I, I very, I, I, I love the bad bathroom. Such so, a terrible bathroom. For I people went, who... I looked at the thread, discovered I still have an SA account. Me too. I spent I spent like a thousand out a thousand hours is way too few. I spent ten thousand hours on SA in my life probably. Are you uh, did you Malcolm Gladwell something on? I'm though? Malcolm Gladwell. I think I did. Yeah. Yeah, that bad bathroom is so good. So yeah. for people who don't know about the bad bathroom, there was a. Um, there was a, a, a man on the Something Awful DIY forum who decided that he wanted, uh, he was going to sell his house, um, and in order to sell his house, he wanted his bathroom to appeal more to, quote, the females. The females. He did say the females. The females. This is a quote. They're, yeah, the females. He wanted, he needed his bathroom to appeal to the females. And so he starts posting these things, which are like, here's what I'm doing to my bathtub. And if you, the people who were in the thread were like, uh, you kind of like, cut through a lot of really important supports. Like, these things, if you don't have them in here, it's going to make the bathtub fall down into your second floor and somebody might die, or at the very least will break your house. Right, like, you're gonna need this wall, can I make an anonymous tier or a mod? If Caterberg says he needs us to, then yes. So the guy got super defensive, mostly because people were like putting Ferengi faces in the chat, like highlighting his the females. The females. He spent he spent most of the rest of the thread shouting about how it's totally okay to call women the females, and like really doubling down on that point. Well, and people most people more or less forgot, right? For a little while. <laughs> what does your girlish intuition tell you about calling people the females? <laughs> It tells me that it's not the best. Yeah. Um, so what happened was after several, after about a year away, he decides to post pictures of the bathroom after. Yup. And oh lordy, oh my god. It's bad, folks. It is, the, the, I think Michael Blaisdell highlighted the best comment, which is that it looks like, it, it looks like if you, if you see the bathroom, after, like, an edgy gaming mouse. Oh, it really is. It's really a Razor yeah. product that is also a bathroom. It's a razor. More like an Alienware bathroom. God. And then at a certain point in the thread, the goons realize that he... At, at, in no angle does he show the toilet, and so the rest of the thread just devolves into them, like, either denying that there was ever a toilet there to begin with, or begging him to show the toilet. Where is toilet? Yeah. <laughs> It's a very good thread. Hey, hey, Caterberg, three cents is pretty good. It's not like we make any money, really, so... Oh, yeah, it definitely is the Guy Fieri color palette. It matches the Guy Fieri color palette? That's so wonderful. It is... The bathroom is red and chrome. Oh, my God, I didn't even think about that. Is this bathroom a diner, a drive-in, or a dive? It's a dive. It's a dive, yeah, it's very much a dive. Oh, the bad bathroom. Such a good uh, thread. I'm, here, I'm gonna post a link to the thread. Yes, the please link the thread.
So if anyone wants to see the, the bad bathroom, there it is. And yeah, we know it's something off the thread. We know what year it is. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> this is my first visit to the forums in like a decade. Yeah, it's been Wait, a minute I since I have gone I, to the yeah. forums for something that wasn't Let's Play. Yeah. Good job on this boss, by the way. Yeah, we did it! Yeah, I did link to the last page in the thread, I think. Um, I probably... There, there's definitely an earlier link that would have been better, but I did it's not... It's a long-ass thread. Yeah. That took too long. Oh, man. That did take too long, Silver. <laughs> See, Silver saying what we all think. How do we know he's not just sitting on the toilet for every picture? He probably is. We do not. What if the toilet is on a track? I mean, I think the two most likely things are he's taking the pictures from the toilet or there is no toilet. He forgot it. I think he forgot the toilet, by the way. That's, see, that's my theory, is that he forgot toilet. He thought... He was thinking, I need bath, need shower. Toilet? Maybe no. The females don't poop! Girls don't poop. It's true. The females. The females. The, the, the human females. Oh, I hate don't saying poop. that so much. Uh, I hate those when those words escape my mouth. Part. Oh, hang on. Cut scene with a chaos emerald. It's about to go down. That's a chaos emerald. It, it said, said this gem, gem can transform, transform your thoughts, thoughts into power. Wait, what? Seven, and, a and a miracle's supposed to happen. Keep, Keep it, it as, as a lucky, lucky charm. charm. It's a powerful gem! It's not a lucky charm! No, I'm pretty sure that's what a lucky charm is. It's a magic stone it with fucking Thanos as your thoughts into reality! Yeah, but also, you've seen how much that leprechaun wants them lucky charm. He do want them lucky charms. Is a cutscene with a Chaos Emerald basically an acid trip? I think so? I don't know. Did I see that link you posted? Yes, 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 I love- I mean, we know you've been trying to find Sonic. Omega, I love, I love Brian David Gilbert. I love Brian Gilbert. Oh, did, did Omega post the BDG Sonic video? Yup, 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 yup. Yeah. Yeah. Such a I good video. I would that, but it's going to put people away from our, our video. You should, but you should all go to Polygon and watch it after this. Watch all of his stuff. Watch all yep. of it. Pots of gold and rainbows, and me red balloons. <laughs> oh, advertising. Wait, I mean, it worked on me as a kid. I wanted nothing more than Lucky Charms for years. Is Star Wars happening? Yeah. Seal Aren't up a little all short for a, a Sonic Trooper. Is it time to seal up all the trash compactors on the detention level? Seal all the trash compactors on the detention so level. We're all, uh, fine. Now, here, how are you? I definitely played that move in Space D&D the other week. You, you really? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, that that makes sense for your character, too. That's a, yeah. that's a your character type move. I mean, a lot of a lot of our Space D&D is hanging up on bad guys. This game is passing the Vectal test? Yes. Wow. Wow. But someone I know said to me... Wait, I didn't need it. does it count if they're no. talking about the men? Because that's what they're doing does. right now. Yeah, they are. Yeah, she's deciding to heed his advice. This is not passing the Bechdel test. To have some no, no, no. What? Now it's really not passing. They did for a minute. They did for a minute, but then it became retroactively about Sonic. Yeah, they ruined it. Oh, no, oh she's a vampire. Which I do kind of like, but... Tell me, tell me later. <laughs> I can't wait for the fucking Fado French farce twist when they find out they're both after Sonic's Four-headed. Oh, no, wait, he's not. He doesn't have a four-headed. <sighs> Loading screen. Loading screen. You Sorry. can drink. You can drink. It's okay. Thank you. 
Well, if he has a four-headed penis, all the fan art is wrong. That's that's all I have to say about that. I feel like we've come a long way from the very wholesome days of Knuckles and the four-headed dick. Mono eye for the echidna guy. What's happening? So your fan art does have the four-headed dick, is what you're saying? Okay. Yeah, I assume I, I was looking at the much more accurate fan art than we are. We're looking at the more conceptual stuff. Yeah, it's just, it's really, you know, it's, like you said, it's very conceptual. It's very conceptual, it's, it's high art, you know. <laughs> I, you know, I did go to the hospital when I OD'd on uh, Sonic fan art. That did happen. That was a bad day. I it was remember rough. That day. It was rough. They found me in the street, lying face down in a pile of Sonic fan art, uh, just mumbling about Angel Island. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why is Amy going so slow? I do turn invisible a lot because that's, for whatever reason, the game blinks me at 30 frames per or, or at, at, at like the game blinks me at whatever uh whatever frame rate y'all see on twitch at like 30 fps but i'm seeing the game in 60 fps or whatever it is i don't remember how i have it set up but the game blinks at half the speed i see it and that's the frame rate that y'all see it at i think eric that level was so unnecessary the level was nothing was filler. Like, Yay, I don't know. This game. Yeah, this is game nothing. is nothing. It's just like kill a robot, step on a spring, get a ring. Step on a spring, forever. get a Repeat ring forever. Break your mother's thing. That what they say? Step on a spring, break your mother's thing. Break your mother's thing. Yeah, that's I, what they say. I remember that from when I was a child. Yep. I mean, thing is a little bit nebulous. Yeah, I mean, but it would probably be worse in this case. It's Opes for interps, as they say. Yeah, but yeah. Oh, cutscene, cutscene. Okay, it's a. <sighs> this is the Organization Thirteen castle, I, I guess. Is this like gun or is this different? No, this is, um, this is like Ico, where you have to lead the princess around the Got castle, it. except it's Elise and there's Eggman. Sure, ah, there he is. I've been waiting so patiently for you to return, princess. Hey, do you like getting kidnapped? I don't want to... Has he done this like 1,300 times already in this game? Like, he can't do it again. Did Eggman lose weight between the last time we saw him and this time? I think he did. It Maybe. looked like it. His model looked thi like like thinner. Maybe he finally embraced Keto and just eats eggs now. Oh, man. Mephilus. Has Eggman actually done any bad in this game? He did, he's, he's kidnapped the princess a lot. He does. He's a very Tell bad me. dude, and he kidnapped the president. Who is the Iblis, Iblis Trigger? trigger? <laughs> Why, Why does he, he want, want to destroy, destroy the, the world? world? Uh, Eggman programmed the game. Oof, a doof. -a. <coughs> if Eggman programmed the game, it would be like the most villainous thing he's ever done. It would be the most masochistic thing he's ever put, put it, he put it, he put himself in it. <laughs> well, do you think he's just trapped in here, living this out forever and ever? Every time anyone plays Sonic 06? Yeah. What you're saying it's like some Black Mirror shit. Yeah, this is this is some Black Mirror nonsense for real. He's trapped in here yeah. forever, reliving this. It's the are you, you remember? Are you afraid of the dark? Yeah, the Nickelodeon show where they at the beginning, I do, yeah, they had the fire and they would throw the coffee creamer in it to make the fire go whoosh. Yeah, they have because they have to. Uh, it's the Midnight Society. Yeah, the Midnight Society. I'm like, and as a kid, my biggest problem with that show is like, how are these kids allowed out this late? I mean, I was very jealous. Yeah, like, I'm not allowed out this late. How are these kids allowed out this late? But then they all had to deal with scary stories about a monkey spa or whatever. And, like, you wish for, like, I wish school was canceled tomorrow. And then the police are there and, like, your parents have died in a car accident. Like, that's not why yeah. school... That doesn't cancel school. It just means Eric, you're not you going. Know, 
Eric, do you not know how genies work in, like, monkey's claws? No, I do! It just isn't you know, If you don't specify your wish, it's gonna go bad. How <laughs> do these kids have multiple friends? Oh, yeah. That was a, yeah. Good, that was a good one, too. Fair point. I definitely was like, God, I wish I had a group of friends who would, like, hang out and talk about scary stories. Right? But then there was that one where the kids are, like, trapped in their house. And they're like, oh, my God, we can't get out of the house. And everything's weird. And then they look outside and they're, like, in, a, in like, a snow globe that aliens are holding. And that's what I Wait, imagine really? Sonic 06 is like. Okay. But are we also in the snow globe or just the Sonic 06 people? No, I think we're the aliens here. We're the aliens. Okay. And I've always Sonic wanted to kind of be an alien. Sonic 06 is the snow globe. It sounds like Silent Hill the Room. Yeah, ooh, that's a bad game. The taking photos stole your soul? I don't remember that one. Well, the, I remember the clown. The taking photos stealing your soul one is one of those ones where they like go to the, the like creepy magic shop and the guy's like, It's if Ty you could buy you might want to buy this very old camera. It's from oh. the before times. It's I one do of those. Remember this one now. I only remember it because Io said it. Without Io's help here, I'd be like, uh uh, I only remember the two episodes I already talked about. That is pretty scary. You don't really want your soul getting stolen by camera. Right. I don't really want my soul stolen Unless maybe you do. By... Maybe you do. Maybe you do want your soul stolen by camera. I don't know. I'm not, I shouldn't be speaking for you. I'm not trying to yuck my yums. I get it. I understand. Maybe that's my, yeah. maybe that's my deal. Maybe that's my kink. It might be your deal, yeah. But it's not. In this particular case, I, I looked into it and it's not. Okay. I had someone... Can you kill that civilian? Sorry. What's that? There was a civilian there with the hit bar? Oh, yeah. No, I, I've been trying to kill them. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> yep, no, I agree with everything yeah. you said, especially the part where Rick and Morty's fan base sucks. Like, here's the thing. Rick and Morty is an excellent show. Yep. But you always have to open every conversation with Rick and Morty is the most toxic, terrible fan base. Yep. Because they do, and it's true. <laughs> But it's, it is a great show. It's a great show. I do like it very much. And, and, but Dan Harmon is like, you know, not great. Well, he's not great, no. But at, at the very least, Dan Harmon, it, like, it's very clear that the show is not trying to make Rick a sympathetic figure. No. And the worst of his fans believe that he is. Yes, definitely. I'm not yes. saying Dan Harmon is complete shit. I'm Dan, saying, I mean, he's done Dan. Dan, yeah, the thing, Dan Harmon had Megan Gans on staff, who is one of the most talented female television writers in the entire industry, mm -hmm. and he made her life a living hell, yep. um, and she called him out on it, yep. and he apologized in a very genuine way that she accepted, yep. uh, so he is off to a better start than most of the bad men in Hollywood, but he also made her life a living hell for many years. Right, so he did, he did the thing. People, yeah. If others do not want to forgive him for that, I do not blame them. Right. And I feel very conflicted about it. Yeah, I also feel conflicted, I would say. That's that's the and I, yeah. I think I am I am I don't know, I'm probably privileged to be able to feel conflicted about things like that. Yeah, that's right. real. I mean, I think the thing is like he he's he, he understands what he does wrong more right. than most people. But he still does them wrong. Right, but it's, but it's the severity of his wrongitude. Yeah. That, that, that yeah, defines I, me. Yeah, Io's on onto the real point here, which is yeah. that, like, Rick Bojack House, like, these are these are not people you want to emulate. Right. And the people that emulate them are missing the point, which is what the entirety of the most recent season of Bojack was all right. about, which I thought was amazing. The, the whole point of that season was, no... You don't want to be like Bojack. Bojack is a bad person in a bad place. Yeah. House is definitely the one of these characters that I think is fetishized most by their writers. Oh, very much fetishized in terms of like, oh, but look how smart he is. Even though he, yeah. being tortured is what makes him smart. And so his colleagues have to accept that yeah. he's just a complete piece of shit. Because we put him in the ultimate, ultimate utilitarian paradise where it's like, he can be yep. an asshole because he saves lives, and he couldn't save lives without being an asshole. And it's like, it's true. He yeah, could. And he's always right. He's never not right. And, yeah, and it's like, well, but he could be not an asshole. Maybe if he was treated for his drug problem, 
and he'd yep. still be very smart. But also, the show goes to great lengths to be like, no, he's not smart when he's off drugs because his superpower is being an asshole. His superpower is 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 drug addiction, right? I'm saying this. Lo I, I did very much love House. Oh, I loved House too. That's all real. And I didn't. Bye, think... by Reaperson. Bye, Reaperson. Have fun with Persona. I I I think like like at the time, I don't think I really understood like what I was watching House and really enjoying it. I don't think I really got yeah. that. I was just like, man. You know, it sucks that this character has to do things in order to be as good as he is at this stuff. Like, I wasn't, you know, I need to pull it using my brain at the show enough to really get that. But I think those three those three characters are really interesting, right? Because you've got you've got House, right? He's yeah. miserable, but he's always right. Mm -hmm. He's always right, no matter what. And, it, and he's right because he's a bad person. Yeah. And then you've got Rick, right? who is also always right, mm -hmm. but he's cognizant of knowing that he's a bad person, he's, whereas I don't think House is. Yeah, no, House thinks like, he's he a good he's person. he's horrible. Rick is choosing yeah. to be a bad person. Yes. House and then you've got... Oh, right. House doesn't realize that he's choosing to be a bad person, which I, I could talk for a long time about whether or not that is a choice or not, but no one wants to hear that. <laughs> Well, the, the point I was going to make yes. is that Bojack is, is often slash usually wrong. Yes. And he knows he's a bad person, and he's miserable, and he but and he's trying to change, but change is very hard for him. Yes. And, I, and it's interesting because those two characters are all similar, but also very different in terms of what, what their creators think of them. Yes. Yeah, like the Bojack wants to change, but he only wants to put in the effort to change when other people are gonna see it. Which is, you know, I think a very, I don't know, that's a very human thing for our, yeah. our horseman to be doing. That's a very depressingly human thing. I mean, I think Bojack is by far the best of the three shows. Oh, for sure. And that's not a coincidence. No, Bojack, he... Yeah, I think, uh... I mean, I've definitely been, like, in my life, in a, you know, been in a bad place emotionally, and, and like, yeah. used that as an excuse for my shitty behavior. That's not, uh... That's definitely the case. And, uh, you know, I don't feel good about that. And that's, that's why Bojack, is, as a show, just, like, fucking... It's it's a lot. It's a lot to watch. Yeah. But that's what makes it so resonant. Yeah. The entitlement is a big uh, a big theme overall because he is a movie, yeah. he's a star. He's the star of horsing around. So he's entitled to you know whatever it is. And no life. matter what, the world gives it to him. Right. Because he's broken. And then he finds a way to ruin it. Because, yeah. Because that's that's the only thing that he knows how to do. Yep. Speaking of Sonic 06. Yeah! <laughs> Everybody just sort of took a minute and was like examining yeah. their life. Oh, you mean Diane? Yeah. Diane? Yeah. Oh, Daria. It's We talked about Daria on a stream at one point, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Diane is definitely the character that I relate to all of the time on BoJack. Like, I have been in... She she is also toxic in ways and, and broken in ways that are similar to BoJack, but also very different. Mm -hmm. In ways that I understand, like, very, very completely. <laughs> yeah. I... Yeah, I definitely, I definitely feel like I, I look at, I look at, you know, the, the way that I am as a human person, and I think, ah, I could, I could easily have been this very toxic Bojack type person if I had, you know, not had good people around me. Yeah. How do we sneak into the station? 
Uh, uh, this guy looks very out of place. Yeah, he does. Maybe he'll help us sneak uh, into the station. He will not. Can we just go? Can we just go in? Didn't we find, like, oh, this guy wants to tell us what to do. What? Okay, so we have to wait and then sneak. Cool. Maybe I'll talk to the guards. Maybe if we didn't look like hedgehogs, we could sneak in. Yeah, well, I don't think there's anything we can do about that. I don't. Yeah, I don't think that's hey. right. Yeah, so wonder how do we readily find the way to go parts of this game is a lot of this game. So, okay, that's actually a criticism. Uh, or that's actually a response to criticism. The, the design here is, is response to criticism of Sonic Adventure 2. Sonic really? Adventure 1, as far as I understand it, yeah. Just from a linear design sandwich. Sonic Adventure 1 had these things called adventure fields, which was, you know, like a, like a hub world where you would look around and figure out where to go next and what to do and talk to people. Sonic Adventure 2 didn't have that. And people were mad that hub worlds were gone. People Ugh. were mad about no adventure the fields. We, we were talking about the monkey spa earlier, Eric. I feel uh -huh. like this is really fucking this is that. It. This is very yeah. much that. This is some monkey spa level bullshit. Go to the store. Okay. I must need to do something with my psychic powers. Yo, Mega, it's really hard to, like, say, like, what, like, what could you have been if you'd been raised differently because so many things would have changed? Sure, But yeah. I definitely, I can definitely see the toxic neckbeards, and I can understand, like, I understand how they, be, how they got to be that way. And that, I think, is why I still spend time trying to interact with some of them on Twitter. Um, because I, there's something deep down in me that's, like, Maybe if I give them all of this time, like I can, I can do something that'll change the course of their lives. But right. then I just end up getting sea lion a lot, yeah. and then that's just really sad. And the thing is, like, you you can't because you're not close to them. I know, but I want to believe that I can. Right, and they're the only people that can decide to change themselves. You can't change them; they have to do it. And hold on, I, I need to. Put, I need. I, I know you're talking. I need to put the sea lion. Sea lion comic needs chat, to right? go in chat for sure. I see that now. Yeah. Absolutely right. So th th this is be sea, sea lioning has become a a term for for people on the internet who who behave like this. Neckbeard inception. Yeah, we do need to neckbeard inception, hey. people. Yeah, that would be really good. Neckception. Beardception? I'm not sure. Alright, I'm gonna look at the store and see what the powers that we got are. Oh! Wait. Okay. We had to buy a new thing. Got it. Okay, well, that was very clear. The developers definitely made that progression super obvious. Yeah, it was really clear and really just, like, very clean and subtle. We were subtly guided. Subtly guided to the store. It was almost as if the whole time, like, the game definitely told us to do it, but it was almost like it was our idea all along to go to the store. That's how subtle and clean it Yeah, Omega, you definitely know these people. So... Jonah Hill. Um... <laughs> Because we own that object now, when we pass through that plane, it triggers this. Oh my god, it's a stealth section. Oh no. Oh, Eric, no, I don't want it. Oh. Eric thinks I hate it. So, Yana, huh? Metal Gear. That was really easy. Oh, okay. Well, fine. Three. Now we have got a Choo Choo. I think this Choo Choo is probably our last of the night. Little, little gear. Little gear. Otacon. I learned the teleport dash. 
looking for the Iblis trigger. This wine has gotten worse Perfect. as it's warmed up. Really? Oof. Which doesn't even make sense because I wasn't chilling it. It's a red wine. But it's gotten worse, like, in the glass. That's disappointing. Yeah. Yeah. Who else? Yeah. What would it... Uh, I'm just so, <laughs> like... My brain is being attacked by the idea of Neckbeard Inception. Neckbeard Inception. Well, I still... I like the idea of keeping Ellen Page in it. I was just trigger people. I was going like, to say the same thing! <laughs> Leave Ellen Page Good. in to make them yep. mad! Yep. <laughs> For sure. Also, I think if you put Ellen Page in literally any movie and make it better. I think there's a lot of, like, I, I can't think of a movie that where you could be, you would be like, and if we put Ellen Page in this, it would be worse, right? And I'd be like, yeah. I can't think of what that movie is. What if it was just an all female, female cast? cast? Yeah, I'll I, do it. I, 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 I think the neck we need to be asking that question about more movies. Like, what if there weren't any men in this? Well, we tried that, and then the internet melted down over a Ghostbuster. Right. I, I liked that I movie. I, no, I, I liked it, too. I think the punishment is that all, all movies have no men now. For at least a couple of years. That's a good punishment. If they can't deal with one Ghostbuster, they can't could deal with one Ghostbuster. It's one Ghostbuster. It's not a big, like, it's one movie, y'all. And it's... Also, Ghostbusters 2 was not good. No, Ghost the mood slime? Ghostbusters 2 was bad, folks. Bad movie. Yeah, I think men at least need to be on hiatus. Yeah, we need to be suspended. I'm into that. At minimum. Yeah, it's just, yeah, like, uh, they give Alex Bertaccini a lot of chances. I think men, men should get Oof. a few chances. Oof. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> like, on that level. Oof. <laughs> You're, put, you're putting me in a position here, Jazz! Sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Not your fault! Not your fault! Okay, I gotta get this box onto here with these very bad controls. Yep. Nope. That's not- that ain't it. Okay, it's stuck on the thing. That was incredible. We are so. I mean, I'm sure we'll definitely. I'm sure we won't have to do it again at any point. We're definitely gonna make it to the checkpoint here. Yeah, no, we definitely did it. Yeah. We only have two lives. It may be worth taking an intentional death here. Intentional death. Intentional death. Yeah. No, I'm really good at this game. It's fine. All right. At the like, at the worst, we learn. We learn something. No, you're right. <laughs> no! Goodbye! Huh. I'm not going to let the Iblis trigger get away. No! <laughs> I was wondering if the no would cancel his voice line. It didn't. Yeah, it didn't. Didn't do it. Oh my god. 60%? 60%! We're doing great. We've done 53% of this story tonight. That's nice. Good for us. That's incredible. And good for everyone in the chat who's sat through it all. Yeah, how do you do this? How do you how do you great. live your lives? I, I really appreciate all of you. Mm. We have the best chat on Twitch, we even though it's like 10 people. That's I one of it. the reasons why here. we have the best chat yeah. on Twitch. It's true. Because we have... Just listen to your voices and ignore what's on screen. I try to do that myself, to, to, but... To be fair, I do that, too. <laughs> I've seen, like, maybe a third of this game, probably. It does feel it does feel like I have friends in the house. Yeah, it's It feels really like nice. I, have, I have friends in my little chat box here. That's, that's a big deal for me. It's so nice. I'm not... Because when I when so many of my friends exist, so many of my best friends in the world exist outside of the, the St. Louis metro area. It's uh, it's very meaningful to me to have to have friends even in the tiny chat box, and and a Chaz on the on the on the speakerphones, on, on, on the voice box. Yeah, 
that's a big deal. Yeah, it's fun. I look forward to this all week. It's Same, like one of, uh, definitely one of the highlights. Yeah. Remote friends, yeah. I mean, we, we even picked Denver to live in because we had friends here, but with the way the world works these days, like, I've got friends all over. That's just sort of how it is. No! No! I am also riding off of all hail shadow. I'm not going to let the Iblis trigger go away. I mean, that is the best song ever recorded by a non-Weezer non -Weezer recording artist. Now, I want to talk about other Sonic songs specifically. Okay. Specifically, yeah. I want to talk about in Sonic Adventure. Uh-huh. There, in the Knuckles levels, yep. there are Knuckles raps. Okay. 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 So Yes! Eric, yes! So Knuckles wrap! Every yes. level, every I'm Knuckles not. level. I, I'm, I don't know if you can see my camera, but I've like really moved. I've like scrunched on in. I can't because that's there's my monitor is covered in nonsense. And my okay. other no monitor has this game on it. The Knuckles wrap? The Knuckles no wraps are just amazing. They 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 have like they have lines like they rhyme knuckles with, unlike Sonic, Fuck. I don't chuckle. Like, that's how, like, the, unlike Sonic, okay. I don't chuckle. Now, you could go fuckle, or you could go shuckle the Pokemon. Now, like, they didn't have access of options to either of those options, really. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> Being a, a, they should, they should have. Uh, they should have had it. It is, it, it's the Pumpkin Hill rap. Yes. And yeah, don't, let's not count out all the Crush 40 songs by, uh... Of course. Of course. By that, that one guy in the Sonic of America. Sonic, Sonic of Japan office. Who is the band Crush 40, effectively. Okay, that box isn't heavy enough. Well, we have to use the metal one. That has Captain America's, uh... doilies. Yeah, we gotta put his, all his 8 Carter memorabilia on here. I heard that show was pretty good. I didn't. I didn't end up. I did it. too. Never seen it. It's on Hulu. I guess so. I want to say so. I could watch I, it. I heard all like the only Marvel show I watched was the first season of Jessica Jones, which I like. Oh yeah, th um, that's good. But it's a, oh, it's a tough watch. But that's the thing is like all of the other Marvel shows seemed like they were like very serious, and I I like the, Mar the I like Marvel movies mostly for the goose. Like, my favorite Marvel movies are, like, Thor 3 and Guardians of the Galaxy. Thor 3 is just great, because it doesn't take itself too seriously. Thor 3, I loved it when I saw it, but, like, I was like, this probably isn't my favorite Marvel movie, right? And then the more time has passed, the more I'm like, maybe Thor 3 is my favorite Marvel movie. Hey, Chaz, are there any other Marvel movies where we go to the Jeff Goldblum planet? No, there aren't, is the thing. Right, so... I think that's very legit. Agent Carter might be for me? Yeah, uh, Agent Carter is definitely the one I'm most excited of watching of all of them. I have watched everything. Like, I've even watched Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which I do not recommend. Okay. Would not do again. It's very bad. It's like... It's bad and, and not in a redeemable, like... It's trash, but I love it because it's trash. Riverdale kind of way. It's just yep. regular trash. How did that bear not kill Archie? By the way, I don't know. I don't understand Riverdale anymore. Yeah, I don't either. The amount, I, and I didn't understand Riverdale before. Let's be clear. Ever since the start of this season, I've gone. All right, so hey. But what the fuck is Riverdale about anymore? And I was <laughs> even less now. Even more don't understand Riverdale. I'm not caught up because I've been on a big Deep Space Nine kick recently that I'm just sort of rolling with. Okay, but so I won't at say some point, yeah. I won't say any more stuff about Riverdale. Yeah. I'll, I'll continue being vague. I just won't say fuck Riverdale me. I just I'm gonna keep I really watching thought Archie it. was dead. I really thought Archie was dead. Yeah. I thought, I was like, alright, this is when, this is when Riverdale is going to get completely fucking crazy. They're going to yeah. kill Archie Andrews. That's yep. what they're going to do. And Jughead is going to go, need to go to the fucking Rachel Ghoul Pools of Revival the, from Arrow, 
which also don't watch, by the way. <laughs> and, uh... And, uh, revive RT Andrews, and that's gonna happen in the show, and then it did was fun. I mean, I have more tolerance for Sophie CW shows than I do for, like, faux grim dark shit. Sure, I mean... Honestly... <laughs> you watch it to your phone to tell us not to watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah, don't. Yeah, I'm Str not going to. Strong agree. Don't watch Agents yeah, of don't. S.H.I.E.L.D. It's bad. Also, we did not, we did not give Io's, uh, my name is Knuckles and I'm here to say enough credit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the old Knuckles trying rap. Yep. My name is Knuckles, and I'm here to say I got a four-headed penis in a major way. Is that it? Is that our Knuckles That's rap? The one. Yep. Oh my god. Ah! Oh. That was stressful. I was, trying, I, I was trying to come up with another another try and rap verse, and I couldn't even get there. I'm not even good enough rapper for try and raps. I can usually produce one line of a try and rap, and then I'm out. Unless, well, unless it's like Madverse City where they feed me half of it. I've gotta, I gotta level up my rap game because in uh, I think two weeks, Melissa and I are, well, and Emma and a bunch of people are going to see Watsky in Santa Fe. Oh shit! I just listened to that new Watsky album. Is it good? I haven't heard it yet. I like I, it. I need to spend like next couple of weeks like catching up on my Watsky. I liked, I liked Complaint. Com complaints, I think it's called Complaints. No, it's complaint. It's nine letters because of how the album cover looks. It's not like it didn't blow my mind. But I liked it. I mean, most of his stuff's pretty good. So. Yeah. I don't know. It wasn't. I didn't feel like I was like, oh man, this is a really good Watsky album. Right. I was like, yeah, this is a fun Watsky album. I enjoyed this. Well, I'm excited to see him live because oh, that'll be a whole different thing. That's gonna be huge. I, I like Dex Infinity better than I like this new album. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll tell you all about it because I think uh, it's at Meow Wolf. Yeah, I think um, it's not not next week's stream, but the stream after. I'll it'll be like the day after I get back because it's like a midweek show. Oh, that's cool. But I'll be back in time to stream. I used to be able to do that whole Flight of the Concords, Hip Hop Potamus versus Rhymnosaurus. I'm not sure I still can. Oh no, Twin Trains, here they come! Twin Peaks! Something about ah. the owls! Are these trains just an obstacle? These trains are not very uh, radical. Yeah, they're not. They're not very radical. No. Okay, but I could attack the enemy even though it was invisible. So Silver is lying. You can I mean, you can still do the do. waterfalls now. Holy That's shit! So cool. That's impressive. That song is so good. The only the the best rap I can still do is uh, uh, Bad Touch by the Bloodhound Gang. Were you, was that an acapella song Yes. That, that makes sense. Yeah, this is the same level. They only designed uh, a third as many levels as they needed for this game, and then they just stuck all the characters in there because, I don't know, Sonic 06. I don't like going back to the previous bit usually, but I want to say one thing, and that thing is that we used to, this, because this is the most fucking acapella group thing in the world, we used to, uh, we, we would segue the Gummy Bears theme into Bad Touch. That's cool. Yeah. But it's a, it's a very, like, acapella group, college acapella group thing to do. I, um, I didn't realize that the Gummy Bears were responsible for, like, for DuckTales in the entire Disney Afternoon block, but apparently, like, that was the first one. That's, that was, was the like, catalyst, the yeah. yeah. A music video of you lip-syncing waterfalls, that is great. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, I guess I can, I guess I can probably do, like, oh my god, I, pro I can probably do, like, Avalanche, right? But I didn't, I, I guess that would read with this crowd. It probably would. <laughs> I can rap about Final Fantasy VII. I mean, 
you can do pretty much anything about any Final Fantasy. That would be very on brand for you. Very so. accurate. Like when I found out that Brad Nelson had had taken the 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 internet handle FF Freak, I was like, all right, well, you got me, Brad Nelson. You beat me to this <laughs> one. Sure, Bard Narson. One of the best nicknames in the biz. Oh, this cutscene again! Hey, do you remember this yeah, cutscene? I, I really want to see it again. I, Arku, I missed it last time and the time before. Arku, everyone's end of level music is the guitar acoustic cover of his world. This time, there will be no in, uh, in Sonic Unleashed, if you do a bad job in a level, the music that plays at the end of the level plays out of tune and shitty if you get, like, the worst rank. Well, that's pretty cool. It's I like that. It's very funny and very yeah. rude. So how is your this, is, this is the exact same cutscene. It yep. didn't change anything. I think we They're saw... Showing yeah. it to us again. <clears throat> No, but now we do have to do this fucking horrible fight from Silver's point of view. Oh no! I'm shadow. Shadow. This fight took forever. But we've established but not a shadow it won't. Like if Sonic is the speedrunner, we've established that sh that uh, Silver is the boss killer. Like that's true. Silver's kit is best designed for bosses. All hail Shadow. He's here. I was hoping I'd never have to see this boy again. Oh yeah, no. Shadow is the is the the Mario of Doki Doki Panic Super Mario Brothers two. He doesn't do anything particularly well. He's just kind of there. Sure. He's just average boy bad bad hog. I mean. <laughs> Super Mario Brothers 2, your, your choices are play Peach or lose, right? Like, uh, there are there are definitely levels, as I understand it, for Luigi and for Toad. I never went into those levels. I just played Peach. No. I don't believe there are levels where Mario is correct. Although, I'm there. There is there are occasionally members of the speedrunning community in this chat who should be who uh -huh. can correct me most of the time. But I. Shadow is stuck. Shadow is stuck on the train. Shadow is stuck on everyone. <laughs> uh, Shadow is stuck. Shadow is stuck on the. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was very good. That was incredible. I know I've talked about this before, but I've gotten really into watching speedruns lately, and I find them delightful. No. Speedruns are wonderful. They're super fun. Yeah. They're super interesting. They are. For me, they are very dependent on the commentary. Yes, for sure, yes. I need to either A, have a very educational time and understand, like, what the skips are, or B, I need them to be playing a shit game and make fun of it and have the time of my life watching. Yes, no, like, I agree. If there are songs exactly in the game, they need to sing the songs. That's very important to me. Well, I don't think that has to be a requirement. No, but, they, but it really helps. Like, there's a, a Mystical Ninja Goemon game, uh, a run at one of the AGDQs where they, like, they sing all the songs in the game and it's just hilarious bullshit. That does sound amazing. There was a Metal Gear Solid 3 run where they brought on, like, they brought someone on stage who, like, actually can sing. And she sang the Snake Eater song, and it was amazing. That's cool. There's Eric, a, I'm starting to think you like music and singing. I do love, I love music and singing. I'm starting to think you like these things. I fucking and love Maybe you went to college for it. Maybe I did. Yeah, there, the, the Sonic 1 run at AGDQ this year was really rad. I liked I, it a lot. I haven't actually watched any of AGDQ from this year yet. I've been, except for like a couple runs that were important to me. And I've been just been so busy. And then I got distracted. It was it was a delightful AGDQ. I'm gonna go back. I always go back and watch everything, basically. Yeah. What I've been watching recently is there's a guy on Twitch um, and YouTube who, uh, you know, those like those scammers who call and they're like, uh, "We've detected a virus on your computer and you're gonna need to pay money to fix it." Yep. What? So this guy, 
He has uh -huh. a virtual machine. Uh huh. A phone number spoofer. Yes, it's that dude, Io. He has a phone number spoofer. He has a voice changer. He bounces Ooh. his IP around. Uh, he's Kit Boga on Twitch. K I T B O G A. And on YouTube. And and he calls and he just wastes their time. That sounds That's really fun. Yes, for hours. And his goal is to keep them on the line for as long as he possibly can <laughs> so that they can't scam anyone else while he's doing that. Sure, and then that he, makes sense. I he, love it. He tries to learn as much as he can about the scams, and then he puts that information out online so that people That's super cool people can educate their friends and family. Now I don't know if you know this, Eric, uh -huh. but I think this is a good time to bring it up. Yeah. Do you know that because we are both logged into the Pixel Crimes YouTube account that we share a YouTube history? <laughs> How's that going for us? Uh, I mean, I I check in every couple of days to see what you're up to. Yeah, how am I doing? Well, I I think the thing I like the most is that the the name Quad City DJs has come up several times. Yeah. Yup. Yup. You Which did ask me how excited I was about Space Jam 2. Well, now yep. you know. It's just it's fucking delightful. It makes me really happy. So what happens is people link me to YouTube shit. Uh, and I click uh, on it, and I'm just logged into the fucking uh, uh, Pixel Crimes YouTube because I've uploaded sure. whatever. Sure, yep. You don't definitely it listen to the Space Jam song a lot on your own or anything. Oh, no, I do do that. <laughs> I want to be clear that I do do that. Yep. Hey, for all of you out there, Alexa, play Space Jam. <laughs> Quad City DJ. Hey, Google. Wonderful hey, Google, one. play the Monster Mash. <laughs> Chaos. You watch YouTube on the Mystical Tutor account? That's beautiful. Also, this nonsense is happening. Ew, what's, what's happening here? What is going on? Oh, we gotta save. It's 9 o'clock. We gotta save. Okay. What? Well, yeah, I think uh, we'll save after this and then that'll be it. <laughs> See, good for you using well, headphones. Yeah, you 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 solved my my trap. You would have got got. If you want the truth. We should be finishing this game next week. It depends how long the fourth story is, I guess. Right, but probably. We're likely to finish Silver's story next week. Yeah. What's the next game? Um, we're gonna talk about Fuck. it. We got I think Superman sixty four is on the table. I think the Bad Bad Wind Waker ripoff that I talked about is on the table. What platform is the Bad Bad Wind Waker ripoff, did you say? I, I think it's a PC game. Okay, good. That's easy. Yeah. We gotta decide, uh, like, before next Wednesday, we should decide what our next game is. Yeah, we'll powwow you and I. Yeah, I'll be in LA, obviously, but we'll text about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do you refuse? Because, like, I'll play anything. So, you know... Yeah, Doki Doki Literature is going to be like that, a... That's like an event. That's a day. That's a day, and Chaz needs to do work to set that up. Yes. So that's, that's, when, to... that's whenever Chaz says it is. I will be picking a Saturday, so it'll be hard, right? Yeah. Because you're, you don't have a lot of availability, or like a Sunday. I, I'm not but doing back-to-back -back events. I'm doing back-to-back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back -to -back events. Yeah. Which you know uh, I don't... hate. My guess is we're not going to get to Doki Doki until sometime this summer, but it will happen, and it will be glorious. I think Doki Doki is very likely this summer. Um, I have yeah. most of... I actually have most of May off. Okay. Yeah, no, it just... It happened... It shook out where, like, I got assigned to these two... The two GPs, and then I got the pro... The, the, the Mythic Championship. I got the two Magic Fests surrounding, surrounding the Mythic Championship. Okay. Because I said, like, don't schedule me for back-to-back -back uh, Magic Fest head judging the GP, and they didn't. They just put it around the Mythic Championship, which they were like, appeals judge the Mythic Championship. But I said, well, yeah, I'm going to do that. Yeah, you can't not do that. And then uh, uh, the uh, the Star City Regionals was the next week, and it's a two-hour drive away. It's attached to a judge conference. I'm the regional coordinator. I should go, and I want to go, so I'm going. And that's Makes only sense. that's only a one night away from home thing. Like I leave, like we're we're like I have to go pick up the other judge, and we're gonna leave Saturday morning. You know, all of us like, we all have hotel rooms that Saturday night, and we have the judge conference Sunday, and we'll drive back. It's it's quite the situation. Did we save? 
Under no. Soliana? No, re really? Can we? Can we? Did, 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 are you sure? No, I'm not sure. Does anyone- I don't- Chat, I don't remember us saving. Chat, help. Friends. I think we may- we may- we may be priced into another level. Fuck. <laughs> and you have an early flight, but... Hey gang, I think we might be priced into another level here. Alright. I think, I think we're, sticking to, we're sticking around. Speed, run, strat, let's go. Alright. Well, welcome to, uh, welcome to Weird Baseball. Welcome uh, to the bonus round! Oh, yep. Chaz's favorite game to play in the parking lot of a supermarket. Well, okay, I, I guess I should tell people about this nonsense. <laughs> now that I've exposed you. Now that I fucking drudge reported you. Well, the, when you're bored growing up in suburbia, and you're waiting for a friend to get ready, usually the friend was Emily. Yep. Uh, to get ready to hang out with us, we needed a game to play. Now, the game I came up with was called Bonus Round. And the way Bonus Round worked is, is you took, you went to a parking lot, and you had to drive around all of the aisles of the parking lot. And if you cut through the middle of the aisle to save time, then for every aisle you cut through, you had to drive a whole circle around the entire parking lot. So, now, Eric, do you want to tell people the way you played this game? So, you played you had a very unorthodox strat. So, my strategy was just to, um... So, you, you know how sometimes you do a thing that you shouldn't do because you think it's funny? Yep. Now, imagine you're, like, a late teens, early 20s white dude. We and were in our teams for sure. And you, yes. think, and you think you are hilarious. That's how often I would cross through the aisle and get tagged by Chaz for a, a bonus lap around the parking well, lot. Well, you're underselling it, Eric, because the first thing you would do is drive through all of the aisles, and then I would say, all right, drive around the parking lot 17 times. And yep. then we would. And then we would. Because the whole point of the game, and we all knew this, was to waste time. Yep. Until yeah, uh, until our friends were free. Yeah, we now, didn't. We didn't know where to get drugs. <laughs> no, we didn't have any drugs. No, we didn't. <laughs> we didn't you know. know. Which the closest made. thing. The closest thing we had to drugs, Eric, and we're keep our talk about this was the strong bad CD that I made by recording wave files of strong bad saying things and burning them to CD. Yup, that's that's correct. That was the closest thing we had to drugs. At, that was at our that drug. age. Um Okay, so this oregano urban this oregano thing is not just an urban legend? Holy Eric, shit. Eric, I guess you didn't go to Fed, did you? No, I didn't. Somebody Somebody at Penn got expelled for selling oregano. That's amazing! They got expelled yep. for selling fakest weed! Yep. That's amazing. No, I, I believe you. Oh, I believe you. Yeah, no, this is a real thing. If I have said it happened, like, it happened. Middle school drug experience. That's incredible. <laughs> we God, had a kid incredible. get uh, expelled for... Uh, he wrote, like, a bomb threat on a wall because he did not want to take a test. <laughs> well, he never had to take one again, he I guess. He did not right. have to take that test, for sure. He got to skip that one. Yep. Maybe a few more. That was at the Faye School in, uh... Southboro, Massachusetts? Sure. It took that six guy years six after. years to get your... Oh, you're probably mean that you got it from a different person, huh? Probably a different person. She probably yeah, got it from a different person. My, my guess is that she didn't get her money back for the oregano. She either. probably did not get her money back for the oregano. That's very sad. Yeah. Now, did you use the oregano? Did how much? Can I ask how much you spent on the oregano? Because I'm very curious, like what the the middle school exchange rate for oregano was at the time. No, I don't mean did you try to smoke the oregano. Of course, she tried to smoke the oregano. How else would she have known it was oregano? That I know. I mean, did after you discovered that it was oregano and not the the, the devil's lettuce? Ten dollars <laughs> because it was a dime bag. Sure. Oh my god, that's, that's... no drop. 
Wilgroff definitely sounds like the name of a person who would do that, by the way. Wilgroff sounds like the name of a person who would be on a reality show. Or is like a third string quarterback. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's just fucking Terry Bradshaw would talk about him, right? I was watching the yeah. practice squad earlier today and they had Will Groff out there. And let me tell you, he was uninspiring. Yeah, I mean, that guy has a cannon for an arm, but he can't aim for shit. <laughs> he uses that cannon to deliver oregano to local kids. <laughs> I'm. I definitely, I definitely didn't smoke pot for a long time because I knew that my my dad smoked pot, and I was like, well, that's not a cool thing. His parents do it. That's, that's just the fucking cra like. I remember the first time you said that, I was like, this is the fucking craziest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> is that like, yeah. like, oh man, my parents, my uh, a parent is doing weed, therefore weed sucks. Well, he. He made weed seem kind of lame. <laughs> okay, that's 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 a fair that's a fair cop. Yeah, like I mean, I love my dad, but yeah, no, he was, he was very much like a dad joke stoner. Your your tiny stoner. Your dad was for real great, but yeah, that's very that's like that's a very funny thing. Like to say yeah. my dad made weed seem very boring. Dad got you an ounce for your high school graduation. You did not yet. No, of course you didn't. <laughs> My dad once, uh, I, I, when I was like 20, I got a uh, speeding ticket on yep. the pipe. And my dad. I remember that. I remember when that happened to you. Yeah. And uh, what happened was I was I was being tailgated by some jack jackass Boston driver. Right into the tunnel, right? Right into the Ted Williams tunnel. And so, of course, the cops sit in the Ted Williams tunnel and, like, sure, some guy was tailgating me, but I was speeding, so, like, you got me, right? I get it. And, uh, the cop writes me a ticket, blah, blah, blah. And I tell my parents, because I'm, like, this is gonna go on my insurance, and, like, I should, I should say something, because I'm in college, and I'm staying, you know, I'm working in Massachusetts over the summer, I'm staying at their house, I live living at their house, so I should probably tell them. And my dad says, like, oh, um, you want me to fix that for you? Whoa. And all of a sudden my mom starts just yelling at him. And like then then they're gone. They're not in the room anymore. And I'm kind of like in the hallway by myself going, what the fuck just happened? I guess I'm gonna go pay my parking ticket. Cause I don't want that. Whatever uh... that means, I don't want it. Is your dad Michael Cohen? I don't know. Maybe he's a fixer. He might be a fixer. I don't know, and I don't want to know. I did always feel like that he made all his money from the antique coins thing to be a little suspicious. Yeah, no, I mean, I've seen the coins. They are real, right? They exist. It could be a front, is all I'm saying. It could be. It's probably not. But it... Oh, no. Real stole. <laughs> Chaz. What? Oh, this. Chaz. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yep. Look at me using my psychokinesis to walk. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ugh. Cut, 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 camera. Ugh. Ugh. This is the it's worst. It's worse because we're like. 20 minutes past when we should be done. Oh my god. Oh boy. This isn't gonna work. Oh! It might. It might. It didn't. It don't. No! no! <laughs> ah. They did make five levels. I forgot about the underwater yep. base as well. Are we, are we underwater? Yeah, look! Look, we're in the uh -oh. fucking ocean restaurant in Epcot. I thought th that was just a fish tank full of eels or something. No. Wish. Okay. I love eels. I know you do too. I do love eels. I like seeing them in the wild, I like seeing them in aquariums, and I like eating them. Yeah, yeah, no, I'll, I'll eat the hell out of a, a sushi eel. Yeah. I know I've geeked, I've geeked out on the stream before about the time I ate all the eels, but... Oh, oh yeah. Holy shit, the time I ate all the eels. <laughs> I'm glad 
it makes me happy that you have a story in your life that is now the time I ate all the eels. Yeah. That's such Melissa a was there. She knew what I did. She knows I did a bad. She 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 saw you commit your eel crime. Yep. I think it's a heartwarming story. She saw the look on the waiter's face when he came back and was like, surely they're done now. And I said, can I have one more eel, though? I'm going to need one more eels, please. Okay, what was the point of that, even? What was the yeah, they are endangered now. They are, oh, they are endangered. We probably shouldn't that, eat those. By the way, that restaurant, that restaurant is walking distance and, like, not even far walking distance from their house. Oh, that's trouble. Yeah, I know. That's so troublesome. You know sushi what is like... magic when you can put literally anything on a roll call at sushi and I'll eat it. Me too. Yeah, I man. Can I talk about my big sushi complaint though? Yes, talk about your big sushi complaint. So my favorite. Okay, rolls wait, are hang like, on, like... hang on. Stop. Okay. Stop. Okay. 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 If they're extinct. We don't get the choice to not eat them because we can't. We can't eat them anymore. We shouldn't eat them if they're endangered because then they'll be extinct. <laughs> okay, that's all I have. Go right ahead. Sorry to interrupt. I think what she's implying is that they were endangered solely because of my bad, bad appetite. I see, I see. Okay, you did it. Yeah, I was doing I was the one that did the So crime. if we extinct the eels, Chaz won't be able to do eel crime anymore. Well, the, but the point is I might extinct them by my own the next time I do eel cry. Okay. Okay, I see. Ah, so you were going to say your sushi complaint. So I really like the, like, really crazy decadent rolls. Yeah! Like, wild the, like, ones, right? The goofy American sushi rolls. Yes. Here's my issue with them. Literally every single one of those rolls could be improved by taking away the mayonnaise. Yes. And they could all be improved again by adding eel sauce instead. Yes, strongly agree. Don't don't put fucking mayonnaise on your yep. weird American sushi rolls. Stop they're, doing it. I get that they're weird American sushi. Do not put mayonnaise on them. We are not in Japan. It is not pizza. It is okay not to put mayonnaise on it. By the way, Japan, what the fuck? You put mayonnaise on your pizza on purpose. Eel sauce is overused? No, eel sauce is the best condiment there is. Eel sauce is so good. There it is, goes on every... I will is, put eel sauce on anything. There is nothing like right. eel sauce. The people that eat fish sushi and call themselves vegetarians? I don't really understand those people. I don't I'm, get it. I'm not gonna judge... I'm not gonna judge anyone's personal food morality when it comes to yeah, stuff no, like that. You eat because whatever. mine is very bad. Yeah. So if people want to call themselves whatever and eat less meat and, deal with, and it's better for the planet, that's fine. I, I eat so much trash, <laughs> like... I say, you eat whatever you want, I don't care. But call it, you're a pescatarian, use the right word for this. I guess. I'm with I, I guess if you're, gonna, if you're gonna be judgy to me, then I have a problem with it. Right. If you're just sort of, like, doing whatever for you, that's fine. Right, yeah. Sushi with garlic mayo? See, I just hate mayonnaise. I, yeah, I just think, like, some of it is fine, right? Like, a garlic aioli on sushi, better than most. But if, if it just wasn't there, it would be better. Yeah, it's just, it would be improved if it was removed. Yeah, I guess my... I was coming from this as as the perspective of a vegetarian who is upset about hypocrisy. I'm coming up from this as the perspective of somebody who's like, I I appreciate vegetarianism because I think it is probably the right thing to do, but yes. I will not do it and can never do it. So Same. I'm like, oh, you've managed to not eat most meats. That's like fucking, that's a championship. That is a fucking like challenge of the half. Oh no, yeah. I bounced those two balls that we, one of which we need into each other, and now they're leaving very fast. Yep. Okay. I, okay. Um, Melissa, yeah, I'm not saying I don't like mayo. Like, mayo on a roast beef sandwich, I fucking love. I, I just like don't like my sushi. Mayo's a garbage I, I, condiment. I like the condiment. I just don't think it belongs on my fish. You'd like it if they called her a thing. Yeah, that's fine. Words do mean things. As somebody who spent 15 minutes shouting about what Yacht Rock is the other day, I really don't have a leg to stand on if the words don't mean things argument. Put crawfish and too out of California roll. 
that does sound pretty good. If Eric was a secret Canadian, he would probably eat more poutine. I love poutine, dude. I love poutine as well. Poutine is the best. I don't get a chance to eat poutine, but I fucking love poutine. <laughs> it's so bad, but it's so good. It's the best one. If I'm gonna eat a garbage snack, it should be close to poutine. <laughs> oh, yeah. Give me those gravy cheese curd fries. Or, or like animal style fries from Double for, uh, from uh, In and Out. Yeah. So, something in the poutine family. Nachos I would consider in the poutine family. I think we have to Catherine Zeta Jones as part of the level here. Yeah, I see what we're doing. That's actually crazy. You've got nachos down under. And by down under, I mean under America. Down under, mate. Here yeah. in Mexico. And you've got up, right. up in the top. <laughs> up at the top of America. Carnitas on the Bobby, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you made me poke on water. <laughs> all, all of my, uh... All of my Australian friends have just as on me as have all of my Mexican friends. <laughs> it's all over. All over for me. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm gonna have a corona mite! <laughs> what's the poutine of America? Of, of the United States? Gravy. It's just gravy. It's just a gravy. <laughs> just gravy? Just, don't put it on anything. Just gravy. Is it just like uh, like sausage, sausage gravy and a biscuit? Oh! Biscuits and gravy might be the poutine. I think it's biscuits America. and gravy. I do love biscuits and gravy. It's Fucking very good. Biscuits. biscuits and gravy. McDonald's fries and a frosty. Why is it McDonald's yeah. fries and a frosty? You have to go to both establishments! Oh! Because Wendy's I... fries aren't as good. And the McFlurry machine is broken. It's broken, and Frosties are better anyway. <laughs> Frosties aren't better. McDonald's fries are way better, and Frosties are way better. The, the double, double down, down does yep. exist. Have y'all ever had a Monte That's Cristo? Easy. No. That is a fried sandwich! I know of them, I've just never actually eaten one. It's... I made myself a rule a long time ago. Yeah. When I found out that the Monte Cristo was a thing, and I said to myself, Well, I get one of those! Yeah. I have you to have, have that, but I get one. No, I didn't go to Melt. So here's... Oh, save. Save, save, save. Have I ever made a movie about Monte Cristo? Oh no! Oh no, it's here! You've seen it. <laughs> I've seen it. You've seen it. I've seen it. Do you know that you know that behavioral economics thing where they're like, yeah. um, you want to like put the bad like the wine that most people are going to order is the second cheapest because no one wants to be the cheapest nor the cheapest wine. Yes, but like everyone buys the second cheapest. So for me, it's like that with like really fatty, fatty foods, right? Right. It's like if I can avoid ordering the thing on the menu that's the most decadent, I can order the second most decadent thing and feel like I'm being remotely healthy. Right. You're not gonna get the quesarito, but you might right. get the uh, the 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 hexagon thing. Oh, the crunch wrap supreme. The crunch wrap supreme. Would. Yes. Yeah. No, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. Then I then I can feel like I can feel like I'm being healthy even when I'm very much not. I figured this out a while ago, and now I just ordered the fucking quesarito, as sure. Io can attest to, <laughs> from our excursion to the Taco Bell Cantina. Nice, which we did go to. Holy shit, what a place! Yeah, I need to go there with y'all. Man, yeah, you would have liked it. I wonder what I wonder what Keith would get to, but that's a story for another time. We finally saved. We finally did it. Oh, we did it. And, uh, yeah, we're only half hour late. All right. Well, I'm glad that my flight tomorrow is at 6 a.m. Yeah, you're fine. I'm fine. What are time zones? I'm going to sleep sleeps? on the plane. It's fine. It's fine. Sure. Oops. Yeah, thanks. Wave high when you get almost to the Rockies. I will be asleep. Sure. But I'll try. From my window <laughs> seat. Do wave. Yep. Hopefully I get upgraded. Bye, That'd be nice. I will see you all next Wednesday for another episode. Good night, friends. See you next Wednesday. We'll figure out what game we're going to play next. Yeah, we'll, we'll reveal it on stream. It'll be a big reveal. Yeah, I was going to say, we'll even tell you. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. <clears throat>